this week on your mom's house. What makes you laugh makes me sad. And yeah. what makes me laugh makes you sad. Yeah. Oh, I love dude. Miracle Whip. <laughs> see? I love the whip, baby. Yeah. Gets a bad rap, but it's so tame. Apps are crazy. Dude, you're going to see girls. Every single chick on there is like, oh, has every girl gone to the pyramids? I'm like, get the <laughs> You know what I mean? Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. Make sure you head on over to sattva, S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash the shit. And you can get $200 off any mattress of your choice. Come in, Listen up. We're back. It's another episode of Your Mama's Place. That's what a lot of times I meet people to go, I love mm-hmm. your mama's place. Um, Super gay. When they the guy stopped me the other day and he goes, man, I love your podcast. I go, thanks. He goes, I was listening to your your um, your mom's thing with your you and Bert. And I was like, that's it. That's the one <laughs> we do. Shit. Different toilet. So, yep. Um, but thank you. Thank you all for joining us, for watching, for listening, for um, doing this while you drive, while you take a shit, whatever you're doing. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. You, speaking of shits, you said that you had a pretty nasty one. What happened? Um, well, we had that place that makes salmon. Hmm. We get it f- pretty often. Yeah. And it's very oily. Not just the salmon. Like mm. there's, a, there's some, I don't know what's made with it. They, they, they put broccoli, but then they put like some... Um, what's it called? I can't think of the word. It's like couscous. Yeah, something like that. Tabbouleh. Some, but it's some... it's always very oily in there. I don't. Mm. I only eat the salmon in like a couple bites, but it's too much. You're very sensitive uh, to oils. Tomatoes, <laughs> garlic. But you know what? That onions, didn't stop you. Peppers didn't stop you. And I bet your anus is as red. Yeah, is my perfect red lipstick. That Check is. it out. By CinePeonline.com is right here. The formula is fantastic. I'm wearing it now, and it's got the magnetic. That's my hole. Pachow. Yeah. Go ahead and buy it. Go it's buy that. Modeled after Tom's post diarrhea. That's where it spits. Anus. Yeah. Yeah. Play with your cheeks. Ooh, we've got yeah. a new. We've got a new Leo. Bob. Yeah, Bob's sweet. Bob's taking over. Funny that you mention him. <laughs> um, there might be a little blind Bob. Gift be squared. From beyond. <laughs> gift of uh that bob is we're not done with bob i'll tell you that oh, right now just beginning it's only if you don't think he's begun. getting a painting that's gonna hang behind me you're out of your fucking mind <laughs> um yeah. lots to get into special guest coming in it's gonna be a fun one what's the ice cream thing what is yo that? i didn't even tell you i'll tell you later homie. okay i'll tell you on the show you didn't even know about that oh okay all right here we go he- here hey. here you go how to keep a woman with the narcissistic game. This might be the most evil form of game known to mankind, but God damn it, it works. <laughs> so go a little something like this. And by the way, if you use this, you're an asshole. But anyway, I'm it works like you. this. Yeah. You meet a woman, you be extremely charismatic and extremely charming at the beginning of the relationship. Your words are only used to disguise what you actually here for. If she's in a city that she uh, has a support system, you have to get her away from that seat. That's why you gotta build that strong bun. Don't bring it with fucking Your mama in the fucking stand! He tickles you, huh? Oh, so funny. With Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Jeez. Welcome to your mom's house. Pretty cool, huh? So cool. You know what's interesting about us is that mm. sometimes what makes you laugh makes me sad, and yeah. what makes me laugh makes you sad. Yeah. And sometimes we meet right in the middle. Yeah. Um. And Blind Bob is one of those where we meet in the middle. Today, yeah. this this one makes me all sad because this is fucked up. Yeah, yeah. Well, my favorite thing about this dude, he's always giving advice, and half the time he's like, "This is some fucked up shit to do." <laughs> Here's how you do it. Here's how you do it. <laughs> Here you go, bitches. Uh, this guy really knows how to how to play women, but he just told people you're an asshole if you fall to some yeah. place. So my favorite thing is if this woman has a like support in this, get her out of that town. 
so smart. <laughs> Isolate her for where she has emotional support. <laughs> Wait, that's what abusers do. Abusive boyfriends. Yeah. That's like abusive boyfriend 101. They isolate. Yeah. You. It's um, it's pretty cool. If you use this, you're an asshole. Okay. Yeah. So we established he's that. taking us through the first step. Use your charm. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot of compliments. Isolate her from where she has a, a support system. And then... If your bond is strong enough and you get her isolated, Jesus. that's when you start step number three. This is the emotional teardown. Oh you start my God. tearing down the way she looks, starting with her weight, facial features. You start telling her how good your ex was and this and that. At this point, she's already too deep embedded to you. <laughs> you can make her feel so worthless to the point where she actually feels like you might be the only one that she deserves. It's evil as hell. <laughs> it shook his head. Oh, I can't believe I taught you this one. <laughs> like he was wow. forced to share that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a public service that announcement. That is hilarious, dude. That is women study that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he don't study him. He always is, he's giving. We've played him before. Yeah. He gives. He's like, what did he? He did one uh, advice. Um, oh, big dick problems. That was a, that he did. Uh, or my favorite, as I was just brushing my teeth in the bathroom, he's like. The ladies come over, boys. You got to wash your bathroom. Yeah. Get the flex off yes. the mirror. Yes. And the fruit fly is going to give you away. Yeah. He's going to, yeah. Do it a Clean few days up. before. <laughs> um, it was good. He was out of town dating. That was, was How to a get a woman with the out of town game. This one right here is pretty fucking good. I have used this one before, so it is what it is. Basically, all it requires you to do is when you're on a date with a woman or when you meet a woman on a dating site, you go ahead and let her know. Yeah. You ain't from here. You're just a visitor. <laughs> You'll be here for another week or two. This is psychologically registered in her brain that the sexual advances are going to be spared up. And you won't look like a creep for doing this shit either. <laughs> Good point. Good I point. I like that game. Um, also, if you cheating on your woman or something, this is also a good one to use because this gives you an outing to get a hotel room. You say you out of town, you're visiting your parents, and right now you're living at your parents' house. You really don't want to bring nobody back to your parents' house, so... It gives you a reason to get a hotel room. Boom. You can also use this one for people that flake on you. If she texts you back an hour later at 9 o'clock saying she overslept or some shit like that, just say fine. You know, it's too bad we couldn't have that much fun, fun before I left town. You never know what you might get out of that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's awesome. Yeah. What a king. I love him. I love this guy. It's evil as hell. It's evil okay. as hell. Yeah. But he's, uh, he's got a lot of answers. He has of. all the answers. Yeah. This guy is a pussy mastermind. Yeah, yeah. He's really, I mean, he's young, so he's definitely, he's, I feel like he's had um, a mentor. Like hmm. he, he's, yeah, he had like an older brother or an uncle who was telling him all this shit his yeah. whole life. Yeah, yeah. He's a pretty young guy to be like That's what I'm thinking. that seasoned in all this. Yeah. And he has the rules down. I mean, he, he, knows, he exactly. knows exactly what this dissertation is. Uh -huh. It's pretty great. Yeah, it's pretty great. Cool. Pretty great. Thank you for sharing. And Well, a lot of single <clears throat> guys watching the show, you know what to do, you know? <laughs> yeah. Tom, apropos our discussion on you coming in space. Yes. As usual, our brilliant listeners, I love when they write in and they point out things that we didn't even consider. Sure. Okay, here we go. During your discussion regarding space burps, I believe you... <laughs> space burps. I believe you have missed a crucial point that deserves to get some attention. While the topic of space cum was touched upon, I don't think the idea was fully fleshed out. Oh. What you failed to consider was the fact in this zero-gravity environment... Any sort of ejaculate you produce while spanking the monkey will not be landing on your fat, hairy belly. <laughs> However, it will continue to travel at the angle it is launched at while also maintaining its speed, opening up the door to some exciting possibilities. Now, given the male ejaculate exits at around 25 miles per hour, some truly fun games could be played. Target practice from across the room, shooting your buddy in the face with cum from distances before unimaginable. <laughs> If you are a cum champ like Tom and produce, vo is it voluminous, Chad, mm -hmm. smart Chad, vol voluminous, voluminous, mm -hmm. voluminous, voluminous, loads, then all the more fun. Just something to consider yours truly, Josh. Wow. Very thoughtful. Chad, was that? Or Josh? This jo is from Josh. Josh, thank you so much. That is, uh, <laughs> that is something we didn't really think about, that we could hit targets from across the room across the shuttle correct um yeah that's we really... don't consider the physics of these things and that's why we need you listeners to write in with such important knowledge yeah and you look man i have been on twitter 
and Elon has been engaging people like you would not believe. Why aren't we hitting? Why aren't we hitting him up? Yeah. Why aren't we asking yes. him with every ounce of our might? Elon, are you going to send Tom to space to come? Why doesn't he know about this yet? Why Seriously. doesn't he? He'll, he'll post a meme tomorrow if we hit him enough. Yeah. Yeah. Get Elon on this. Elon, have on. you had a study done yet on what happens when someone comes in space? I don't think so. I'm willing to go up there for you. No, free of charge, too. A celebrity, a major celebrity like Tom Segura. Yeah. Ready to come in space. This might, this might be great promo for when my special oil comes out. Oh, that's really great. I'm coming everywhere. Uh, the com I'm coming it's everywhere tour finally can end. Oh, we could do that. <laughs> finally. <laughs> he finally went to everywhere. space. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then the end of it is in space. That's so exciting, Tom. It's so exciting. What a strange, wonderful world. We what a beautiful in. world. And um, Elon, I just want you to know that I'm willing to to do it for humanity. I'm not, I'm not trying to get paid. I'm trying to make money. I just wanna, <laughs> I want to, I want people to know what Hold happens. Hold on. Here's the other problem. Not only is the ejaculate an issue, but what will you be wearing as well? Because don't they wear special outfits? And, well, and, there's two. There's the, two. I've thought about this. Sure. There's one if like, if I just get a space seat, and they, they're not down with the cum no. angle of this. <laughs> it's upsetting. Yeah. Why wouldn't they be? But well, okay. if they just go, no, okay. but then we know I'm still going to do it. Sure. I have to, I'm going to have to like get real backed up, stay <laughs> aroused. Probably have to go up there with some good visuals, you know? Might have to bring, yeah. I don't know, something with some downloads on it. Just something sure. to get my brain kind of in the mood, you know? Because in that case, I'm going to have to... I think not wear underwear, you know? Um, yeah. 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 And they tether you to the craft and right. all that. And also you, the good I fluff news. Fluff myself quite a bit before takeoff. Like keep taunting a myself. Lot. Get right, you know, edge a little bit. Yep. Ah, ooh, ah, yeah. Just really get close. Yeah. So that when, it, when, the, when they're like, hey, we're in space, I'm like, hold on. Uh, yeah. And they're like, what are you doing, man? And I'm like, I, I said I was going to do this. I'm that kind of thing. But if they're like, yeah, of course this is a good idea, then it's different <laughs> because then they they will arrange for it. You know, which I mean? is even cooler. Very cool. And what's good about you already, your advantage in this is that you already get aroused. You've mentioned before on flights. In on flights, so That's true. This is space travel. This in is my, a whole other it's level. A little of that. different. Yeah. I think once you get over the initial fear and excitement of the launch and you get yeah. comfortable up there, yeah, you you're gonna like the way you come. What if they're like, look, we can't play videos because of you know. <laughs> pornography just, yeah yeah but they're they let me just <laughs> tape still photos of like some woman's asshole over here <laughs> like, you just see them all in your tape with scotch in your tape room. in my little room your uh, cubby yeah that'd be so cool someone bent over just like it's like all it's like 70s style yeah you just have to rip pages out of magazines yeah tape the, them up the olden times of yeah jerking like it. an old mechanic shop but yeah. we're up in space oh the irony being in this <laughs> multi-billion dollar shuttle Mm -hmm. so I had to tape photos. Yeah, it could happen. I mean, there's only one way to make it happen, and that's for all of us to come together. Hit up the the old E man. Yep. Let him know we want to go. Know. Yeah. I want to come and space. Do it for... By the way, um, I've still gotten messages every day about the basketball game, the one on one yes. game with David Walter, the great Very David funny. Walter. What a great sketch! My goodness. Um, the uh, the production on that, the game, the story, and it got me thinking. You know. One on one is a really exciting, fun thing for people to do. Yeah. And I heard murmurs, murmurs. that there might be, is that right? Is that a murmur? Is that yeah. right? That there might be a yeah. one on one game between our very own Annie and Ryan Hall. That's what I heard. I heard what? you guys might play one on one. Y'all really trying to do this, huh? <laughs> Y'all really wow. trying to make this happen. Wait, huh? did you guys not talk? I mean, we talked, but... Okay, so I'm not making this up. <laughs> yeah, but he was the one who, who started that shit. I, didn't, oh. I, I ain't really got shit to say about basketball, you know what I'm saying? I haven't played that shit since I was like fucking, I don't know, 10? This is an any I'm not aware? I've never met yeah. this any before. Humble. What? <laughs> I've never met the any that does, does says, I don't know, I'm not really into that. I only know an any that goes, I'll fuck up LeBron yeah. James tonight. And then he always says, cap. Yeah. Everything is cap. Yeah. Everything is sus. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, fucking Lenovo here is just learning all yeah. the slang yeah. the kids use. Yeah, he's oh, wearing yeah. a cap. What's he even doing? <laughs> um, so wait, would you do one-on-one -on -one with Ryan or no? I mean, I'm never going to not do a 1v1. Oh, okay. Like, 
I'll still win. You know what I'm saying? But so you are oh, saying you would win. I mean, I definitely could. That's the real. I, I don't know if I would. It depends on you know a lot of things. But okay, yeah, so I you're. Mean, I, I, I it sounds like what you're time. saying is. You could, you're leaving, you're leaving the possibility open into maybe you wouldn't because you don't play a lot of basketball. You haven't played a lot of basketball. Yeah, in over a decade. But you're still confident enough in your skill set that you could, that you're capable of beating him. Um, yeah. And also, I mean, man, this nigga's got like a fucking, a bad heart and shit talking to me like he gonna fucking, <laughs> man, he gonna be like collapsing on the fucking... On the damn court before we could even get to point two. Like, I don't even know. Does he really want to even do this shit? Like, I, don't, I don't know. So funny. I, I, think, <laughs> I think you may have motivated him with that. I don't know. Yeah, shit. I don't know. I mean, would stakes at all make it interesting to you? Well, would stakes make it? Yeah, yeah. stakes would make it interesting. Yeah. What stakes are we talking? I mean, I, I, think, I think you guys should play for a cash prize, personally, you know? Ooh. Yeah. It's kind of it's weird, though. I am playing my boss for well, money. Well, make it reasonable. To... Make it re don't. I mean, you guys could play each other for a reasonable amount of money. I don't know. I don't what would you like wager? Reasonable. What would you personally wager where it's not, it, it can't be something that affects your lifestyle. But that's, a, that's the only thing that I want to bet, though. <laughs> that's the only I thing understand. I wanna... Sounds like someone's been having a little addiction. fun at the table. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, me and Adolf have some fun. But, but like, you wouldn't play, like, one-on-one, -on -one, it doesn't take that. Don't do what I did. Play to 11. Don't play to 21. Eleven is is can be over relatively quickly. Yeah, but um, that's that's better for him though. And Ryan just yeah. messaged me saying there is zero chance that oh, anyone will win. Ten G's. He's <laughs> let's fucking. I'll train, nigga. You want to fucking really put that? You really want to put that out there like that? Like you just got me? Like I'm that type of nigga? You can just say that shit? Okay. All right. We Woo! are. All right. We are filming this. Right. We're definitely Fire. filming this. All right. That was fun. I okay. like this all anyway. First of I like all, that. as <laughs> your employer, <laughs> I cannot okay. allow you to bet 10 G's on this game. That's no so way. Bad. That's too crazy. It's too crazy. I could fucking spot it. I'll figure it out. I'll get no, another see, job. When you go, I have to, to figure it out. It doesn't make me feel comfortable. <laughs> like, I, I think you should bring it down to a little more, uh, just slightly more economic level. That's a significant amount of money. You guys obviously always both have to agree on it. I could say this. I mean, he, uh, yeah. Yeah, Ryan, yes, for people that don't know, Ryan not only works here, um, he, he runs here. <laughs> he's, he's my boss. He's your boss. Yeah. Talking this yes. shit. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, we should, we should figure out the terms. I, I feel right. like, t I know Tenji is very emotional thing to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's very aggressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm about it though. I know you are. <laughs> I'm about I know it, you. Though. Also, me to show you roll up to work on a bike for the next <laughs> fucking few months. If it um, came to it. Yeah, no, but I would. I think we should definitely have. Don't you think one on one would be fun to watch? I think it would be amazing, especially if it's up to eleven, which means it's fast. It's fast. It's faster. Yes. There's a lot at stake in a shorter amount of Dude, time. Dude, do you realize that after that video? Um, of my, me and David playing, I got hit up by college kids. They're like, yo, dude, we all play to 11. That was, in, they're like, we get tired at 21. Really? What are you doing? They're like, I mean, 11, I was going to play to 11. I always thought it was 11. And then everybody, I just saw people hitting me up being like, it's got to be 21. And I just went for it. Yeah, but 11 is quicker. It's reasonable. And I have to tell you that, you know, any, he's got a lot of swag, yeah. a lot of confidence. Yeah. I would like to see him have a big win. And I, I think it'll be fun to watch you like throw your dick around on, the basketball court. You know I, what I, mean? I feel like you are doing what the out of town game guy just did right now, and you're 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 inflating him up, and I'm I'm here for it. Oh. Get him going. I'm being sincere. I, I would no, like I to would, see him win. I think it would be fun to watch you guys compete. Because um, you're right, Ryan Hall's on his deathbed with that heart <laughs> stuff. He hasn't yeah, been in the office is. in months. You know, Ryan, he's dying. I'm. I don't think you're dying. Yeah, uh, his teeth are rotting out of his head. What the, the fuck are you talking about? Work. He eats candy nonstop. He needs like 20 root canals. The guy's not in good shape. What? You didn't know this about him? No. His teeth are rotting out of his head. He told you this? Of course. Everybody tells me everything. You don't know this about me? Yeah. You know, you know. Uh, yeah, I heard that he has trouble uh, working out at home, too. You know, his wife calls him Regina when he works out. What? Did you know that? Because he like every time he gets like 15 minutes on the treadmill, he's like, oh, I can't oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, shit. Oh shit! Oh shit! Here he comes. There's Ryan Hall. <laughs> Ryan, I was—I really had your back the last few minutes. Uh, I'm just 
I don't. I promise to never come on camera. And I just my teeth were like the final straw. <laughs> yeah. So hey, I I don't know anything about this. Are your teeth okay? <laughs> they're, they're pretty bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> they're pretty bad. How many root canals do you need, Ryan? I have one on. I have one on Thursday. Okay. Yeah. Does um, it impede your jump year. shot? <laughs> no. Not okay. At all. So you've been paying attention. <laughs> Any. <laughs> Immediately was like ten grand. I'll I, beat him. When you said it like that, I know when you said it personally. I feel like, uh, I mean, I'd have a real problem with him. It's a lot of scratch bet, betting that amount. I think it's too. It's, it's too aggressive. I do need a new fire feature for my pool. Oh my god! <laughs> how much is it? About ten grand. <laughs> Ryan, how is your heart though? I, I... Eh, that's the concern, but you know, we're not doing it tomorrow. No, we're not doing it tomorrow. And you would yeah. get clearance from a doctor to do this. Totally have to. Totally. Um, what do you think? I mean, you say I think two eleven is is what you actually definitely two eleven ones and twos, right? Ones, ones and twos. And twos. Um, you know how to you know how to play basketball? You know what ones and twos means? Oh, I don't man. even know yeah, what ones and twos means. That's what we did uh, with Tom. I was there. You weren't, by the way. You didn't show up. But, uh, yeah, you know the people that was the show literal up. day of my heart surgery. Oh, <laughs> oh. I bet that was rough, huh? Oh, okay, man. okay. Sleeping in my bed, man. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> So, <laughs> I'm so heart excited. Surgery cap, any? We have to get the, we have to get the same ref. <laughs> Definitely, <laughs> and, and um, we have we have to film this, you guys. We have to film this. It's too exciting. Uh, Dude, how about Ryan we Hall's work? Looking at me, hate daggers. I don't know how to do the heart. What do you feel I like? You. Okay, I know you're like right now. You're emotional. The competitive juices are going, <laughs> and he's called you out. But do you honestly feel like that it's reasonable to bet that amount? I mean, I know you're confident that you'll win. That's so your mind's going, yeah, because I'll get that. Do you, is it okay? Is it ethically okay to wager that amount with your employee? I don't think I can take 10 G's from him. Yeah. 10 G's? Wait a minute. So we ain't even doing 100? 10 G's. 10, 10 G's. Oh, 10 G's. G's. I thought you said 10 G's. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't take that much money from you. Yeah. I get to see you every day. Yeah. yeah. Why don't you can't. Or maybe it's... Now I'm Team Ryan Hall. I feel like he needs a win. Health's in the shitter. Teeth are rotten out of the you skull. You literally make it sound like... Canals. She makes it sound like you're in fucking hospice right now. Like, <laughs> this guy's about to go. I know, that's the fun part. It did take me a while to walk back here. Okay. So that is a factor. It is a factor. It is. How long do you Maybe think, you without consulting, because I know you're going to have to consult with the doctor, how soon could you play, reasonably play? A month? You think in a month? I mean, really? I, I have my check in on first one tomorrow and then the other one on Friday. So I'll know tomorrow if it's. Okay. If it's so we can get an answer to this pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, it's not going to take much energy to beat him. You just Ooh. have to back him. Well, I mean, it's, you just have to back him up. He doesn't know how to play basketball. Can I just, just tell you guys? Wow. This changed my day. Like it, <laughs> yeah, changed, it changed my spirit. <laughs> and like, I mean, yeah, I'm I so see it. excited. My heart is a rock right now. I am. About to come into space <laughs> right now. <laughs> my money's on Ryan. Ooh. Thank you, Chad. Thank you, Chad. Health concerns, my money's on Chad. And I wow. know, here's what I know about, Chad. here's what I know about any, everybody who pulls for Ryan is just going to drive him harder. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yeah. yeah it's oh, true. man, I'm so excited. Ryan's got fire in the belly. The right only now. thing that like, I mean, like that. and this is not a secret. I'm not it's revealing a secret here. What? I mean, any... <laughs> did not play ba like he's not a kid who grew up playing ball. Like he's like said the last time I played ball was like five years old. And Ryan played basketball. Oh, like in, okay, in, I didn't like, know that. And have played a lot. That. It is a, a factor. Ago. I wonder why. Why do you think that's not as much as a fact? Like most people would go like this person has played this a lot. Why doesn't it affect just the heart? Like just that heart thing? Oh, why could I win? Like. Most mm -hmm. people, where they go, someone has played a sport a lot that you haven't played, go, well, that's obviously a huge advantage that they're familiar with the sport much more. You don't think that's a factor? Y nigga, I arm wrestle Joe Rogan. I, I like and get destroyed. You like the disadvantage. I like a disadvantage. I don't want to fucking play a game I'm going to win. I want to play a game that I shouldn't win and then win anyway. Okay, that's, that's the mentality. Like that's cool. So you accept, though, that he is much more uh, like, likely to win? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. This is... God, you're such an interesting guy. Um, <laughs> This is hilarious. Uh, what would you feel comfortable if he lost? If if he lost, I'm just throwing. I'm just, just having this conversation. If you were to beat him, what's a reasonable amount as his boss that you feel like you know? I my employee could hand this over to me, and I, I would not feel ethically challenged by this. I don't know if it would be money. Isn't yeah. it more fun if we did something, you know? 
like work related where I have to do something, you know, for you or vice versa. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, like, humiliation like humili- is always fun. <laughs> yeah, I was going to yeah. say. Like you have to switch a show. Oh, shit. Oh, I see what you mean. It can't be that hard. <laughs> oh, oh, damn. Mm-hmm. Uh, just mm-hmm. shit. I know how hard it is. Damn, <laughs> dude. Oh, dude. You ain't here too long. Oh, oh, shit, Jesus. Yeah. He's talking a lot of shit. <laughs> Um, and he's then, one of the most talented guys I know. He's maybe very not in talented. basketball, but, oh, but yeah. that's very nice. He's very talented. Brian is a great I, boss. I would I would agree with this. Um, so then, you know, I mean, that's funny. That's kind of an interesting one, like you doing his job. But what would he do if um, if you win? What kind of thing would you have any do? You know a lot about spreadsheets and contracts, <laughs> conference calls. Uh, yeah. I no, we get, we'll, we'll think you. something more fun. Yeah, I mean, so it's got to be something it fun. It can't just be a reversal of roles. No, it's got to no. be like just complete humiliation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For sure. He's got a shit in front of us. Everybody. <gasps> oh, no. Toilet cam? That is a nay. What about, what about we just get to x-ray his intestines and see how much is in there or something That's like that? Really interesting. Or can we take him to get um, cleanse like what you oh, did? Oh, yeah. And see the how colon cleansing. In there? Yeah. Would you do that? Where they a put water up in you? And we could Wait, see so how something's much... got to go in my ass? I'm awake for that? Yeah, but I mean, yeah. it's it feels good. Mm, it's Tom nice. loves what about, like, it. Ayahuasca on camera. Mm. Jesus. Seeing you like trying to get my deepest, darkest yeah. secrets out there on yeah. camera. That sounds fun. That's kind uh, of fun. <laughs> shit. I'd have to be able to veto some shit. <laughs> I might say some shit I'm not cool with. Yeah. That's the idea. All right. I'm, I'm into this. Let's yeah. just... We'll keep thinking on it. But like, let's... Let's not kick this too far down the road. I want, you know, I want the wager and the date set. Very, I want the, the okay from the doc first. Let's, say, let's start with cardiologist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Doctors first. But as soon as he okays it, we set it up. Deal. Deal? All right. Okay. All right. We'll talk to What's you happening? gentlemen soon. <laughs> Ryan came in with some fire. That's so awesome. That was fun. Woo! Ryan Hall came yeah. in here and heated up. Dang. I yeah. love that. He's pretty fired up. Fired up. Shit's gonna happen. That's pretty tight, bro. Whew, man. Yeah. I went to think right. of some good humiliations. Man, I could see I can already I can see the fire in Eddie's eye right oh, now. I know. He's like He's like, I'm a dunk on this motherfucker right yeah. now. Yeah, he knows. And he is like that's the good thing about him is the attitude. It's always in the the swag, the bravado, like, yeah. oh fuck this shit up. But that gets people in trouble, you know? It's that's both. what's it's interesting both. to see. Will yeah. he succeed or will he fail? Any We'll no see. cap, Kravitz is going to win. <laughs> yeah. No cap. Gentlemen, if you didn't already know, it's tax season here in the United States. And you know what that means. It means that Manscaped is here to make sure you spend your tax return money on the important things this year, like family, friends, and ball deodorant. Join the 8 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped by going to manscaped.com for 20% off plus free shipping with the code M O. I don't know about you, but my nuts can always use a freshening, a little sprinkling, if you will. And I welcome you to give them a sniff after I've used Manscaped's products. The Performance Package 4.0 is the ultimate bundle you need to reinvent yourself and your confidence. The Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer is the star of the show, offering a precise shave along with the brand new Weed Whacker 2.0 ear and nose hair trimmer. The start of spring also marks the start of Testicular Cancer Awareness Month in April. Manscaped has partnered with the Testicular Cancer Society to bring awareness to testicular cancer, men's health, and early cancer detection. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code MOM at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code MOM at manscaped.com. Don't just get your money back this year. Get your swagger back too with Manscaped. Can we, do you mind, um, I know our guest is going to be arriving shortly. Do you mind if we watch some Barista I Love You videos? Yeah, sure. I really just look forward to these and we've got some from our home Real quick, I do have to tell you this though. Go ahead. I fucking, I don't know how, this happened organically and now it's my favorite thing in the world where I was in the hallway like a week ago and I I had to fart Mm. and I farted and Nadav was right next to me and then I winked at him. (laughs) And it's like my favorite thing I've ever done. <laughs> and he doesn't like it. So hold on. Let me get this straight. He has to be next to you or in proximity to well, he's you. He's in proximity. Fart. I fart and then I give him a wink. 
That's menacing. He, shit. he doesn't like it. I hate it. It's yeah. so I fucking menacing. It. <laughs> Why? It's fucking cool. No, because it's like I won't even hear the fart, but then you'll wink at me. I'm like, oh, I know what just happened. <laughs> <laughs> but when you do hear it and then you get the wink, it's the best. It's worse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm uh, actually, I'm literally, <laughs> I'm literally trying to save fart. Like if I feel when I'm like, oh, I got to wait till I get next to the dob so I can do it and wink I at I love him, this. You know? Yeah. you know what I like Last time he did it, he was just like, oh, I'm trying to do this more. And I'm like, what? <laughs> You're like farting and winking at you. <laughs> it's so cool. I love it. it. You could try it at home too. This is one of those things you can, <laughs> you can take with you. You can do it at work. You can do it with yeah. your friends. It, it, believe me, it leaves an impact. <laughs> You know what I like is it's a little condescending. It's kind of a power move. Yeah, a like, little bit. This one's for you, Yeah, buddy. this one's for you. And That's it's not. It nobody wants <laughs> Nobody yeah. wants the gift. It is. And it is for no you. No one wants it. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants this. <laughs> yeah, very cool. Um, okay, Barista, I love you. As we've been telling you guys that when you, <laughs> you go to the drive-thru and you order, say I love you. And we've seen the whole a host of reactions. People don't hear it. People laugh. Yeah. People say, I love you back. I mean, it's a it's a fun thing we've been doing. And if you can sneak in a "Hey Hitler," do so quietly. But that one's that's like bonus points if you can sneak in a "Hi Hitler." Also cool. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's, I kind of had us going in one direction, and then you took us to another place. Okay, here we go. Hey, uh, can I get a? Uh, <laughs> he said, "Hi, mommy." The spice tuna bowl, please. Spice tuna bowl. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'll get a. Uh, Oh, no latte, please. Hot? Yes, please. All right. And that'll be for you. That's it. For here? Yeah, for here. Thanks. Whenever you're ready. Thanks, James. Okay. <laughs> All righty. Hey, look at the nerves. Thanks, I love you. Thank you. <laughs> that is a... Uh... That's Nick, Nick Simmons. Nick Simmons, friend of the show. A friend of the show. He's been on uh, Where My Mom's At. Yes. And um, the great thing, he took it to another level. He did this in dining. Yeah. This was a counter service. Yeah. Not drive yeah. through, you get to go, I love you, and then drive away. <laughs> he did and face And he was like, face. thanks, I love you. Now, he, did, he also did the cadence that you can get away with the most, with, which is kind of, he goes, he goes, hey, mommy, I'm trying to get it. So you kind of go with it. And even at the end there, he was like, well, I love you. Like yeah, that. Like thanks, it, love you. You kind of make you can continue it and you do it in the same tone as your regular make yeah. sense order. Yeah. And then if you do that, it kind of just fades along and they kind of don't know. You know what's great about this video is you can just see the nervousness. He's in nervous. His face. It's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, it's like the stakes are so high, but all it is, yeah, look at his little face. It's so cute. Thanks, I love you. Thank you. <laughs> and then it's like, oh my God, I did it. Yeah. I got away with it. Yeah, that's the great. best feeling in that the world. Really good great. job, Nick. Well good played. Job. That was really well played. And also, <laughs> Thank you for sending big, <laughs> big balls, doing it in the big restaurant. Balls. Yeah. <laughs> that's a whole new thing. There's yes, Chris, I am, mommy, Chris Rogers. Thank you. Um, <laughs> can I have two large hot coffees with uh, coconut milk and one stevia? Okay, anything else? No, that's it, mommy. <laughs> Thank you. I love you. <laughs> that felt good. That felt good. Uh, I might have to keep doing this shit. <laughs> oh my God, Chris, Chris Rogers, Rogers is a, an amazing artist. Um, yes. He's uh, he's you know he's painted murals and paintings, and he's actually currently you can see his stuff in Austin. It's, he's painted things around town, and and an incredible artist. But he's currently <sighs> painting a mural here at a YMH Studios yes. that is, I don't think we've actually shown the whole thing oh. yet, right? No, just bits and pieces. It's bits and pieces. Yeah. It is. He's so talented. Pretty fucking, oh, he's wildly talented. Oh, gosh. And um, he gave a, he didn't do the thing. He didn't do, man, I love you. He said, thanks, I love you. So he did. Yeah. This is what's known as <laughs> risk taking. This, this is where it can actually... <laughs> Pay off more or go the other way. Yeah. Like, what? Yes. What they did was completely shut down. They were like, <laughs> yeah, they didn't. They, yeah. But he got a kick yeah. out of it, which is fun. Yeah, that's the yeah. best part because you're really just sending a nice message. Yeah. At the end of the day. Hi, can I get a medium <laughs> Coke, regular Coke, please? Medium Coke? Yep. Okay. That's it. One medium Coke, press window. Thanks, love you. <laughs> 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 Oh, 
Oh, that's great. That was great. She laughed. And when I pulled up, she had the biggest smile on her face. Oh, so you made her day. Yeah. That was, that was pretty cool. good. That was a clean one. So clean and yeah. easy. And, she, and also, I love that the the <laughs> laugh was delayed. She was she like, was like <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was like, it was a nice delay to the laugh. Because you gave her. Oh, it was like that. Yeah. You gave her. <laughs> <laughs> That's the laugh. It's a great yeah. laugh. Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't hear that a lot. That was amazing. Oh, here I am. Hi, mommy. Uh, do you guys have chocolate croissants? Yes, we do. May, may I please have two jeans? And then uh, a double espresso on ice with a little bit of oat milk. That's it. Thank you, Jeans. Absolutely. That'll be 10 today. Okay. I love you. I think we get two of the, the two like best reactions you can get. <laughs> Somebody I laughing or someone too. being like, love you too. Yeah. So the best part of this is our children were in the back seat doing this. Yeah, for this. both. Yeah. And now every time I go through a drive through with them, yeah, they yeah. go, mom, you didn't say I love you. <laughs> <laughs> and actually this, this ended up being really sweet. So I went, I went to the window and he, he obviously knew that I told him I loved him. Yeah. And he goes, I just want to ask you, because he saw that I was married. He goes, I wish I had, I wish I had somebody who gave me a ring like that. And he goes, you have any advice? For and I go, oh, I've been with you know same guy for seventeen years, and I and and we just talked about love, and I said, yeah, I, I think the best thing is to share values, and marry somebody that you could sit in a cafe with and talk to them for hours, and that you see the same thing. So for instance, if like some weirdo walks by, I go, oh my god, do you see that? And yeah. your mate should go, oh my god, yeah. Versus what? I don't see it. Then you're never going to be happy. You're like that's somebody from another country. Look how fucking weird they are. Yeah, yeah. they dress all stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Make fun of them. Learn how to dress. Speak English. Yeah, yeah. dipshit. So, oh, that's usually the conversation we have in cafes. A hundred percent. Share the conversation. I'm just like, yeah. Um, all right, let's take a quick break. Okay. And we'll be right back. Right back. We're back, and you can go right now, this instant, this very moment, to YouTube and check out the new special. Sounds like Bruce. Give it up for Jay Larson, everybody. <laughs> that's a great yeah. title. Oh, thank is. you. That's a great title. It's That's from an, it's, it's from one of the all time bits. It's like it's an all time bit. Thanks, it buddy. Really is. I yeah. remember. Like, I don't know. Like some like basically, if you get a bit like this, you know, you can still come up with great stuff. But that is like one of those like you only get like one or two like that in your whole career. If oh. you're if you're banging out stuff all the time, you don't get ten of these. No, that's and a people, fucking. I'll meet people and they'll be like, oh my God, you know what joke I love? And I'm like, yeah, the wrong number joke. They're like, how'd you know? I'm like, because. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I remember when that happened, like yeah. driving down the freeway when it was happening to me, I was just like, I can't, this is happening. This yeah. is like, I called my friend in Atlanta. I'm like, you're not going to believe what's going on. Yeah, that's a, it's such a good bit. I mean, and it's, it's in this, I'm so glad you put it in the special. Cause I remember Thanks, you doing man. this when we would do like, like little rooms and, yeah. you know, like showcase spots in L.A. Mm -hmm. And it needed to be in a special, dude. Yeah, thanks, yeah. buddy. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. that. Where did nice. you shoot the special? I shot it here in Austin. Oh, you did? Yeah, oh. at the Creek in the Cave. Oh, oh, man, they keep getting specials shot there. Yeah. That's awesome. I was, like, going to do it in Portland, uh, Oregon, because Lance Bangs was directing it, and he lives there. Yeah. And then I was doing a weekend, and I go, should we just do it there? Because I saw Shane's special, and I thought it looked great. It looked I great. I thought it was awesome. And I'm yeah. like, you know, Rebecca was like, yeah, come do it. What's that look? What? He just burped. Oh, yeah, he, burped. Yeah. he puts a cute little face on when he does. Yeah. yeah, yeah, And he, but what's really? I just winked at you. He too. winked. Yeah, I heard before. Don't. Yeah, yeah. That mean you just dropped a fart in here? No, I just I burped. I, I've never oh, done. Oh, the, I get the the burp. Yeah, the burp hey, wink. The burp wink. By yeah. the way, I haven't burped in a while on mic, right? Congratulations, Christina. But it's been. It hasn't been today, right? Right. It's always just been right before we start recording. You burp right into the mic. Okay. That's how you do your mic check. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Very cool. Uh, mine was accidental, and I tried to, you know. Like hide it. Yeah, like I, I wasn't trying to go like. like you know. No, I know, I yeah. know. I just didn't know what was happening with my face because my face did go. You did a yeah. little something yeah, yeah, there. That's true. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, it's, yeah. yeah. So you still knew he was burping. He no, knew something I was didn't. happening. I knew oh, some, something. I just was thought wrong. he was. I didn't know if he was like joking around about yeah. like what he was saying or yeah. 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 My hands were cold. Yeah, I don't like. Am that. I dying? Yeah. No, it means you have a warm heart. That's what my aunt Gert used to say. She's yeah. like, right? cold hands is a warm heart. Oh, she also sweet. didn't yeah. know what the fuck was yeah, going on. Yeah, she's real bitch, right? Yeah. No, she's old. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she did. Yeah. Oh. 
She did. I, she, she had dementia, and, and you're gonna die soon because these hands are really. Cold. What's that all about? Yeah. She would. They got to a point where she couldn't walk, and she would sit there, and she would. We we're sitting. We we're playing games at like her dining room table, and she goes. I'm playing with my other aunt. You know, this one was 98, the one dying. She was 90. Oh 90 and then we're playing Scrabble. And then my Aunt Gert is like left out because she can't play Scrabble. And she can't walk. And she goes, who wants some tea? And my Aunt Rue goes, all right, Gertie. All right. Knowing she's not going to make tea. Yeah. yeah. Right? Two minutes later, who wants? I think I'll make some tea. Oh, and Auntie no. Rue is like, all right, Gert. We'll be fine. No one needs any tea right now. And then she goes, I'd like to make some tea. And I go, you know what? I'll have some tea. Just thinking, like, see what Gertie pulls. And she just did this. Like, <clears throat> like couldn't get out of the chair and just kept, because I said, let me get yeah. some of that tea. And she struggled for you. Yeah. Yeah. She yeah. wanted to do it. Yeah. She yeah, couldn't let her try. Aww. But she exercised, and that was a good thing. Well, she tried to, yeah. 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 So you got good genetics in the fam. Old People school. are leaving the, in the, living to their 90s. Oh, yeah. Auntie Gerr was 98. Both sides are they living that, that? Nah, this is just like my mom's. My mom's mom was 86. Her sister was 100. Her other wow. sister was 98. Her brother was 99. Wow. So you got a shot. And then 102 got a for shot. Auntie Lil. Yeah, yeah, I got a shot. And are they healthy? I mean, They're aside dead. from dementia. They're all dead. No, no, I mean like do they, how are those later years? Yeah, yeah they, they were. They were all right. Yeah. They get a little spunky when you get a little, little later in life. Like when yeah. Auntie Rue, yeah. I mean when uh, Auntie Lil turned 100, I interviewed her on camera and I asked her, like, what do you think love is? What do you think life is about? What is friendship like, to you? She gave me all these beautiful insights. Yeah. And then she, on the walker, she, like, walks me out. I was home visiting from L.A., and there was a courtyard. And I go, look at that nice little courtyard. It's like an old age home. She goes, yeah, it's all right. And I go, what do you do with this? She goes, nah, last week we had a clam bake. And I go, how was that? And she goes, bad lobster. And I go, oh, lobster's nice. And she stops, and she goes, yeah. Wouldn't you believe some people took two lobsters? <laughs> And I go, oh, really? And she goes, yeah, guess who? And, I, and I'm and i thinking it's her, right? So I go, who, you? And she goes, no, the Jews. They can never get enough. <laughs> can never get enough. I'm like, what do you... First of all, how, how does she even know? There was probably no Jewish people there. Uh, there's probably one. There was one, yeah. <laughs> and it's this old school. When they yeah. get old, they just, they retract. They go yeah. back. Uh, that's the best, wow. man. When you're with someone old and they just let it fly, yeah. it's yeah. so comforting. It's so you, I love you gotta it. let it slide. Yeah. What are you gonna do? You Start gonna trying say? to enlighten her at no hundred? Way a hundred years come old. On. Let me tell you something. That's a horrible stereotype. Aunt, like, come on. Yeah, who gives a shit? No. Die, I'm racist. You can never get enough. Never. It's never the enough Jews. lobster to go around. It's always because of the same fucking. They don't equation. even eat shellfish, isn't that oh. right? Oh, can confirm. Yeah, thank you, yeah. Nadav. I want to ask you a very serious question. Do you really think that Jews are greedy? Is that really true? I mean, and you hate them. Yeah? yeah. You really think so? <laughs> yeah. You think it's actually a cultural truth? Yeah, give me my slice and then also 10%. Wow. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Good Lord. People <laughs> mistake me for being Jewish all the time. They're like, you're Jewish, right? And I yeah. love it. Really? It feels yeah. so good. I'm like, I'm something? I get it, too. I'm something. Do you? I get it, yeah, yeah. It feels good. Yeah. Really? Sometimes, Because yeah. your nose? Yeah. I think your nose is... Uh, dude, by the way, your boy's been looking good, huh? He looks amazing. Ooh. So fit. So fit. so fresh and so clean, clean. How's the back? Fit as fuck. Back is strong. Hairy? But yeah, is it hairy? No, there's hair oh, on it. Oh, okay, but yeah, he's yeah, a real yeah. man, Jay Lawson. You like it then? I love it's all that his matters, hair. Yeah. Tom was the first man that I had relations with that was that hairy and like just a stinky old bear, and I loved it. Yeah, that's nice. I just love how's your it. back? Clean? Nah. No. You're a mess. I fuck with it though. I try and like get a little shave in, and yeah. then you can only get so many angles. And if and like I don't have a buddy, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's like I don't have a buddy to do like a. Like a trim, then I'm just like out in the wild, and you're like, "Fuck!" I just let it rip. Dude. If something comes up, yeah. yeah. Sometimes you want you want to you want to watch the shirt line. Yeah, yeah, and that's the crazy. You don't want it coming up over the edge, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. like creeping. It's dude. crazy. So, are you dating people? Are you on the apps? I'm on one app. And how does that work? What's it like going from like you're a Gen Xer like us? Oh, man, that's crazy. Yeah, you used to just like meet people. That you was, used to just meet people. And now you're swiping. And I'm and I crush in the wild. In the wild. Really? Oh, I'm unbelievable out there. Yeah. My buddy was out with me. He's like, dude, you're unbelievable. I go, I know, dude, my game's crazy. But then at the What end is the, your game? I Let's... forget that I'm 47. You know what I mean? <laughs> what is your game, though? It's just like talk to anyone, anywhere, anytime. Yeah, yeah you were yeah. always like that. Always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So even when I was married, I wasn't even flirting. I just liked talking to people. Yeah. yeah. Like, I remember one time this woman was at the grocery store and she's like looking at tomato sauce. And I just look over and I go, is price an issue? And she goes, <laughs> No. And I go, you got to go Rayos. That's where you got to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, what are you messing with this other stuff? She's like, nah, I don't know. And I go, all right, well, it's up to you. 
And then I went to check out and I forgot something in another aisle. So I run back and I see her and in her in her barrel or in her carriage, she had the Rayos. And I go, see what I'm talking about? There you go. Yeah. That's where it's at. And then you could have fucked her probably. You're like, let's take that Rayos home and I'll pour it on your tits, right? I mean, that was going to be my next line. Yeah. Is it Rayos <laughs> or is it Rouse? It's Rayos. Is How it? do you know? Because I've eaten there. At and it's really called Rayos? Rayos. Let me tell you something. Do you guys not know about Rayos? No, no I, I, I bought had the it sauce. many times. Right. It's good All sauce. Right. So, but it's a restaurant on 118th Street in Harlem. And when they opened, they were up there in, in Harlem and they couldn't get business. You know what I mean? So they started selling. Yeah, the blacks, that's why. Oh, what? the blacks? What's that? I'm Are sorry. They Jews too? <laughs> Go ahead. Go with the story. I love that you can. Why is it? I said this last time on stage. Like, you can. I say, like, this joke where I'm like, I'm trying to be a good white. But you never say. A black, you know, like, yeah, so, you know, this white came over. You wouldn't say. No, you could. Yeah, I know. I, I, you okay. just did. And yeah. uh, I liked it. And I appreciated it. <laughs> so they couldn't, they couldn't get people into the restaurant. So they started selling the tables. Yeah. So that restaurant, selling the tables. all the tables are owned at that restaurant. So like, that's cool. You guys would have Tuesday nights, the first of the month. Those are yours. That's your table. No money's exchanged. You're, everyone's on an account. That's really? cool. I like that. So I always wanted to go there. And then my ex is friend's uncle owned was the table. Frank Pellegrino. No, owned the restaurant. Oh, owned the restaurant. Yeah. And she when she called us one night in New York and she's like, do you guys want to go to Rayo's? And we're like, yeah. It was like 9.30. She's like, all right, I'll order for us. Meet me there. We three of us sat at a two top next to the kitchen mm. while the whole restaurant, like her uncle's dancing with two elite models, six foot models to like, when the moon hits you. Yeah. It was like mafia. And then he sat at the table with us, past clothing, smoking cigarettes, just telling us how like, his voice, his voicemail is like Gwyneth Paltrow, but like, I'm going to be in town. He turned away Madonna and A-Rod one night. They came in. He's like, sorry. Like, no. Yeah. You know, but now they have one in L.A. They have one in Vegas that like anyone can go. Yeah. And this is, um, and so how was the food unbelievable? The seafood salad there is the jam. Really? Okay. Let okay. me tell you something. <laughs> yeah. Rayos. Rayos. And then the meatballs are Vinny good. Vinny Rayo! <laughs> yeah. You want to get him in here? Yeah, let's get him in here. Vinny Rayo. But yeah. Rayo sauce slaps it's the best. Yeah, it's the best. Anything else is dog shit. Once I you know. get a taste of that, that is true. At the grocery store, oh you're fucking God. around if you're not getting yeah. it. Yeah. Once I've yeah. Me and my ex so used good. to get Rayos for us, and then we would get like the low end shit for the kids. Of yeah. course, you know, because yeah. the kids won't eat the real. You have to get them like stuff loaded with sugar. You know, like Prego or Ragu. That's marinara. What get. Marinara. Prego. And they have the sensitive Prego. formula for your lame ass friend who doesn't like. Onions, tomatoes. I don't or... like tomatoes. <laughs> oh. oh, buddy of mine. I, tomatoes upset me. Garlic, onions, and peppers. Yeah. I don't like any of it. It <laughs> makes me, it gives me, in the, my hip hurts. So he's going to have to go carbonara or something This like dude that. is. Yeah, oh, carbonara. At some point, don't you just X him as a friend? You're like, I'm out? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, it's, it's, it's a, you know. Restaurant eating with him, he's like, How do what kind of oil do you prepare this in? And you're like, Jesus Christ, I can tell you, as a woman, nothing makes my pussy drier than then a man somebody. that won't eat stuff in yeah. the restaurant. You're like, What are you doing? Yeah. Just fucking eat it. And there's no spice, right? Oh, my he God. confirms that. Yeah, you know, there's one thing I've learned in dating yeah. CP, and you tell, tell me, me, tell me, women just love it when you just make a plan and you're like, Boom, <gasps> boom, 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 and they're just like. Pfft. Love, done love they don't care they'll take a seven who plans shit you know what, what yes. kind of plans do you do you mean like the whole night's planned it's not like hey do you want to go out sometime you go hey do you want to go out tuesday night around eight i was thinking and you name a restaurant and they're like yeah Amazing. holy shit yeah. this guy has thought it out and then they then they'll be like you want me to make a res and you're like no i got one you know i got a two top inside i got one outside yeah. too yeah, Look, yeah. And what do you need amazing yeah. because it shows that he was thoughtful and that he really wanted to spend that time with you and plan out. Why do you the think thing? that most it's a beautiful thing? The thing is that most men, mm -hmm. most men just go, I don't know. Yeah. Like that's like if you go, you want to do something this weekend, most guys just go, like, whatever. And, th and this is like the other side of why women are so attracted to, a, a, you know, or they find it so appealing when a guy's like, I have plans. It's, I don't know why, why most men just go, like, whatever you want to do is fine. I don't know either. I think because they're just like, either they don't want to do the work or they're afraid they're going to make a mistake. Work. Yeah, you know? afraid of mistake uh, is a big one. Yeah. Mistake. When it's just like, who cares? Just go, trust me. You're going to have a good time. You're going to yeah. enjoy it. And that's it. Yeah. But if they don't, then you're the a-hole that ruined the night. It's like, no, just, but here's the I thing. That's you the run fear, but you're not. Yeah, you just roll with like, oh, tonight's such a fucking disaster. That's, that's true. That's what you should do. And like if there's you laugh at it. alcohol yeah. and food involved, it's always going to be fun. Yeah. Like just get her drunk. Are you dating now? I mean, I'm not with anybody. So wait, tell us about the apps. How does that work for you? 
Apps are crazy. Dude, you're going to see girls. Every single chick on there is like, has every girl gone to the pyramids? I'm like, get the <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> every one of them. <laughs> Here's my philosophy. I, I get so everyone is putting out the ultimate version of themselves. Right. You know right. what I mean? It's like you went to Egypt once. Yeah. Show me, show me what it's like when you're out of bread and you want to make a breakfast sandwich. What are yeah. you working with? You're gonna make. Can you bring a, a, a almost stale bagel back to life? That's that's what I want to know. So wait, what yeah. is your profile like? Yeah. So do How you, you put out the? Yourself? I put out. I got one picture of me in the A G N C. No, Where? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Where he said, "Isn't that a C?" The A G and C. This is the way you said it, I was like, "This guy has never been to school." I A G and C. I was like, well, "What?" Listen, they also like dumb guys. Okay, okay. No, I just have like you know, I do have like pictures of me that I think are the the best versions of myself. Sure, okay. yeah. So but I don't have any like I don't really have travel ones. Okay. Um, but I also like don't like any women who don't write something about themselves. What do you do for bio? Like, give me a taste of the bio. Hey, what's up? <laughs> That's the bio? What's up? No, I put something like, um, hey, I, I put what I'm into. You know what I mean? You're like, sincere. It's sincere? Sincere, yeah, for sure. Okay. I'm into this. This is what I like. I would love to find. And I just say, like, what kind of person I would like to find. And you're talking about, are you, do you do the things that people go, like, I'm into relationships or I don't want to relate? Right? Do you pick? I don't really get into that get yet. That I, let, I let, let's meet and let's, let's meet. talk and yeah. let's figure it out. Because let's be straight up. Some women, I would be like, yo, I'll change everything. If, if it's the right person, you sure. know what I mean? At the same time, I'm like, you know, when you're bouncing back from a divorce, you're like, you're starting your life over again. Yeah. So there's certain things I'm like, well, I want to get these things in line before I like bring someone into my life. And I yeah. also am not introducing anyone to my kids unless I know this is someone I really want to be with. Serious. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't just, you know. So everything depends on the person, I think. It's got to be tough to market yourself because... I've been with, uh, like, Chase will show me the apps, my, mm -hmm. my feature act, and we'll swipe. And, like, women, the littlest thing can turn us off. I know. You know, like, for, for me, I tell you, first of all, if I were on looking at profiles and if the guy's, like, got a beer in every picture, I'm out. Of course. Or, like, why is that your profile? Are you getting hammered? I'd be like, I'm done. Because that's what he's into. Yeah. That's all he wants. Yeah. 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 So, wants. you know, right? like, oh, this person's an alcoholic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then the travel photo, you think, yeah, I look interesting. I like to travel. But then it's such a basic bitch move. It is. It's but then at the tricky. same time, when you're a dude with two kids and someone's like, I like to travel, you're like, uh... How much travel you think we're gonna do? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean, like, where do you think I'm going? Yeah. What about now? I also hear girls with the angel wings are the big pick. The girls that stand in front of like the murals. Oh are yeah. The angel Any, wings. Anyone that's so basic. Put I'm this way. So if I see a, spiritual. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I will say this: if I see a woman with a in an art museum, I'm intrigued. Okay. Mm -hmm. If there's only one and it's a known artist like known by you went through eighth grade, yeah. I'm not turned on. But if you're in an art museum and you're in front of like a Degas, mm -hmm. and then you also have a picture of like architecture and then maybe you in a field somewhere, I'm wow. like, all right, you're That's artsy, your you're cool. Because you like this, you have style. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. But if you're just one picture at a museum and it's you watch, you're looking at Mona a, Lisa. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I love art. Yeah. yeah. I'm at the Lovra. <laughs> Oh, and I hear boys always have pictures of them fishing. It's like every man is a fisherman or like a hunter of sorts. And they're like, okay, that's kind of. That's not Jay's fucking. That's not how I roll. Rain. That's yeah. not. So, so. I do a joke how I'm, I, I don't understand fishing. Yeah. Like catch yeah. and release. I'm like, so you just, why don't we just punch people in the face and then bounce? Yeah. You just rip <laughs> just a fish's, you just rip a fish's mouth out. I'm like, all right, go survive. <laughs> yes, yeah, true. And then my friend was it's like, brutal. dude, they only Terrible. have a one minute memory. I go, oh, so every minute they're like, what the fuck happened to my mouth? <laughs> and dude, then <laughs> I, I got one one time. I, I pulled it up and I was, I mean, I'm, I don't have, I, I'd fish. Wait, did you fish growing up as a kid? Well, here's the thing. When in, in Florida, it was easy because we oh, lived yeah. on the intercoastal and there was a couple places where people would go and like basically river fish. And one time I, you know, it was, there was a lot of catch release. A couple of times there were people that would keep it. I, I wasn't keeping it. I did deep sea fishing too. And that's like definitely to I eat mean, that. Yeah. That's yeah when you're if eating. you cut it up on the back and you're eating yeah, sashimi, that's different. I'm but in. You're, yeah. But we're in the river and I, I pull up, I forget what I pull up, but it's hooked. And then they're like, you know. A grouper? I don't remember. Trout but maybe. I tried, I couldn't get the hook out and the thing's like flailing and it's just so far in there. It's that a lot of times the hook goes in here yeah but if it goes in in like the middle of the cheek then you got to yeah, like reach into the terrible. fish so i'm like trying to to 
to get this thing out and I can't. And then I'm just like panicking. So I'm just trying to stomp on it and kill it, you know, <laughs> so that it doesn't, so it doesn't suffer anymore. I end up taking the, the line and just like, you know, just trying to like beat it out and event. And it's still like, come on, dude. it's like, give me a break. <laughs> I eventually, I can't get the hook out. So I just cut the line and the hooks in and I just throw it back in, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So it seems just, like the, he went, he went there with a, he went out with a souvenir, you know? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Did you ever fish as a kid? <laughs> uh, once, some my, my dad was banging some woman in Eureka or something. No, but yeah. now we do. We do in Austin. My yeah. kids do. My Super dad fun. used to take me fishing actually when I was really little. Yeah. Back when I would see him, and I think that might have a tie to it too because I stopped uh, seeing him and I was like, oh, we used to like sit on the banks of this man-made lake, the town over from me. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm like, fuck fishing. Well, it seems very boring. It just seems like an excuse for men to get together and get drunk. Yeah, yeah, that is boat. it. That's, That's why men golf too. A yeah. lot of times, yeah. like some are into golf, but a lot of them just want to hang out. Yeah, yeah they want to hang. Yeah, it's out. just a hang. Yeah, killing stuff while you hang. It's kind of cool. Fuck, who doesn't want to do that? Yeah, you know the thing I think is most important about probably about dating videos or like profiles is being honest about what you're into. <laughs> like you got to share what you're really into. You know, like this guy. The video Anthony Shitting, August twenty third, twenty, oh eight. Um, that was inter interesting. The audio was really great on that. Uh, <laughs> my name is Bob. I wouldn't mind you uh, doing some more uh, videos like that and sending them to my channel. I like that kind of humor. It was fun. What? Um, a lot of these videos on here is too much clutter and noise and stuff like that. <laughs> and um, I'd be interested to, to know what you were showing in the picture since I'm a blind person. Oh. But, um, Please get back with me. I sent you a message and uh, wouldn't mind uh, um, knowing more about what kind of video equipment you used. What? Uh, Why do you I care? Fun yeah. to do some, some fun videos. And as I say, this is kind of interesting. Thank you. And uh, do some more. Yeah. What's he commenting on? So somebody had <laughs> sent him uh, a video of them like taking a shit. And that's what he likes. <laughs> He likes hearing uh, it. Yeah, he likes My yeah. name is Bob. Um, <laughs> I have um, viewed your uh, explosive diarrhea video in McDonald's. Just curious to know where that was at. Um, I'm from Southgate, Michigan. <laughs> I, but he likes, he's blind, so he likes to hear it without any other, like don't laugh, don't talk. Yeah, yeah. And then, but then he wants you to follow up and tell him like, where it was, what you ate, what led to that. And, and, and what type of video equipment you're recording on now. Yeah. That's a whole new layer to this. Yeah, yeah. It's you know, at first I was like, why is he in the dark? And then he's like, oh, yeah, I'm blind. it doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. He, also yeah. Likes, he also likes uh, ham radio and aviation. He's in aviation too. Mm -hmm. And friendship. And he he's a like teacher and he's with. active at his church. So yeah. he's like, he's well-rounded. He's not active at his church. That's yeah. what he says. Yeah, 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 yeah. he was. Interesting. Yeah. Is this like on a side site? No, YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, right, he's here, dead now. Here comes Chris, man. Yeah. Shit. Can you just go pop in the bathroom before the Eucharist and just drop one for him? <laughs> he's a sweetie, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I, I I do think that like if this guy's we're going after dates, it's great to just lead with who you really are. You know. Listen, you don't think that woman's out there that's like, mm-hmm, same. Yeah. yeah. You know. He don't I want love to shit on. Well, yeah. All the he's always Most asking guys. for dudes to shit. And he never makes it sexual, at least not yet. We haven't once heard him say, no. he's just been like, I like the way this sounds. And, uh, you know. Yeah, he's an enthusiast. He yeah. seems pretty on the level. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. When do you, uh, when you're on a date, when do you reveal what you're really into? Because everyone's on their best behavior on a date, usually, right? Yeah. Do you, how long do you hold back? Into what, though? I want to, like, you know, put your head through the wall and pull your head. <laughs> 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 you know, whatever, whatever you're into, you know. I think it's going to take gonna a while. I mean, mouth. I don't know. When did you guys start getting into that? Well, that's what I'm saying, though. But this is a long time ago. I'm yeah. saying now you're you're. It's different when you're dating when you're like 25. I'll tell you so, this. So do people? I think like especially when you're we're all you know I'm older. So then you might date older women yeah. that are also divorced, and they're just kind of like, yo, what's up? Everyone's just kind of like, hey, we know the deal. You know what I mean? Yeah. I have kids. You have kids. It's almost like this un written thing you like you know how much time i have you know you know what i mean um but i've never i think it takes a little while still you know yeah, you're still, sure. you still you still want to have some like you know figure things out about people and especially if you're looking for something serious yeah you would probably wait a little while i would think because you want to like keep uh life interesting sure you know and like build towards something
Wait a while. Or next thing, after two dates, you're watching this guy's videos. Well, you know what I mean? You're like, that's, what's next? That's one. Well, let me ask you this. Blind Craig. Jay Lawson. Yeah. You meet the woman, the girl, the woman of your dreams. Yeah. She's absolutely perfect yeah. in every way. Mm-hmm. But on date four or five, she's like, listen, I really need to hear you taking a shit. I want that audio. I want to know where you shit, what you eat. Like, is that a deal breaker for you? No. Wow. Well, she also, you also led with, it's the girl of your dreams. So well, put it this really way. I watch you guys that. and how comfortable, and you guys are able to talk about stuff that I have, like, never imagined ever, like, talking like that. You guys, you guys talk about your exes, how you bang. Tom talks about, yeah, you know what I mean? You guys are nasty. You yeah. know what I mean? Sometimes I'm but, like, they don't even sound like they're together. <laughs> it sounds like you live two separate ruse. lives. Yeah. Gosh. Well, I think part of that is because you're, you're very white, right? You're from like white Boston, cracker, <laughs> waspy. And I don't think like. I, don't, I think I take offense. What, what do you mean? You're very white. You're very white. Mm-hmm. And you're, you're whiter than me. You're, you're Polish. I'm a foreigner. And for, foreigners are very crass and and yeah. disgusting, and that that's a dynamic I watched growing up. Yeah, you just say whatever the fuck you want. Because did you say whatever you wanted growing up? Oh, I, I imagine no. no. I yeah. had a single mom yeah. who, you know, my mom was very proper and like, yeah. you know, I know where every fork and knife goes. Uh, see, I don't know. Why. Yeah, I'm, all I'm, all that kind of stuff. I am garbage. But we, we also were poor. Last week, you know what I mean? Sure. We weren't poor, but we did not have money. You know, we weren't poor, but we didn't have money. So, like, <laughs> it was this poor. weird dynamic of, yeah, like... Did you use a washcloth? No. Oh, so, you know what my philosophy on washcloths is? What? Is, is it, it exf- exfoliates. Sure. I don't use one, but, like, that's what it does. Did you use them in the house growing up? <sighs> no, I never did. You know what I did use? I never got zits and St. Ives. You know that, like, apricot stuff? Yeah, my I sisters, use that to this day. Yeah, and my sisters would use that, and that's what I would use, and I never had acne. Really? Yeah. And uh, I was, like, I always attributed to that. But there were okay. louvers around. I never got into that either. Louvers? Louvers. What do you call it? Louvers? <laughs> the louver, man. Where they have the Mona Lisa and the louver. Yeah. The louver. A louver. Yeah. Do you, but do you think now if you were in a couple, you could be more open like yeah. Tom and I are? Yeah. I'm going to be. Because did you learn that lesson after the first marriage, you think? or I think after the first marriage, I started doing a ton of work on myself. Mm-hmm. I mean, I had always been, but now I do a ton and I'm like... Yes, I think so. I think like, uh, you know what I was going to, I was thinking about you guys listening to the pod that you guys ever talk because you were saying you like to give gifts. I think it was on like uh, the Tom Pop episode. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You know the love language you ever break down? Yes. Because that's something I never got into. And then when I got divorced, Daniel Van Kirk was like, dude, are you into love language? And I go, I know nothing <laughs> about it. And I started looking him up and one is gift giving. Yeah, it's one. And it's like, you also, not only do you have ways that you want to be loved, but you have ways that you want to love others. To express love. Mm. And you, for gift giving, that might be your thing and it's, not hers. Right. Yeah, that's true. He yeah. loves true. to yeah. get, he's an excellent gift giver and it is definitely his way of showing love. Yeah. Is to give the gift. My ex was a really good gift giver. I was okay. never, I'm not, I'm okay, but I was never into I it. I think you learn that, like, it, you, you learn over time that like, oh yeah, you, not everyone's going to align with yours. And they also totally. they also might not receive it the way you want it to be received. You might be like, this is my expression of love to you. Yeah. And then they go, that's a nice thing. And you go, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm showing you. Like, they, not everyone, you know, receives it the, the way you want it received. A hundred. Yeah. Same yeah. way that, like, some people go, my, my expression of love is affection. Some people are just like, that's nice. Yeah. You know, they don't. They, they don't Words receive. of affirmation. Yes. Yeah. Well, what do you like to receive? Um... I mean, I think to receive, I think probably like words. a morning tug or something? I think words, yeah, tug. dick tugs. Tug, nutting real hard. and Words, um, words, words are big. Affirmations. And, yeah, and affection, yeah. Affection. yeah. I like receiving affection, yeah. yeah. Receiving you can, there's a affection. test. You can yeah. take a test. You know, there's like an actual like, test. You, you should, should do it. it. I bet. Sure. I bet it's, because it, I think it's good to yeah, know. Cold, um, yeah. You know what I did for a gift this year with my kids for Christmas? Like, right. I always go with them to pick out a gift for their mom, and then th- she'll get a gift with them. But I was just like, I just really wanted something I wanted because this year was her house at Christmas and I wanted to have something to do the whole time that I was there. So we were at the store and I picked out a book that I wanted on, on, on architecture. So I go to the kids. I go, you guys see this? They go, yeah. I go, all right, this is what you're giving me for Christmas. I go, I'm going to buy it. I'll wrap it. You make a card and then Christmas morning you bring it over to me and I'll be surprised and everything. They're like, oh, yeah, Christmas morning. They're like, dad. I think you're going to love this. <laughs> <laughs> they, gave it to they gave it to me. Yeah, oh, it was that's pretty perfect. Rad. Yeah, it was fun. It's a good that's idea. Cute. You know mm-hmm. what? I, you want some good advice? Yeah. For the next girl you date? Yeah. This is fucking tight. Listen to this. Oh, here we go. How to keep a woman with the narcissistic cat. <laughs> this might be the most evil form of game known to mankind, but God damn it, it works. So go a little something like this. And by the way, if you use this, you're an asshole. 
But anyway, it worked like this. <laughs> when you meet a woman, you be extremely charismatic and extremely charming at the beginning of the relationship. You got that down. Your words mm -hmm. are only used to disguise what you actually here for. <laughs> if she's in a city that she uh, has a support system, you have to get her away from that city. That's why you got to build that strong bond. If your bond is strong enough oh, and you get her isolated, that's when you start step number three. This is the emotional teardown. You start tearing down the way she looks. Starting with her weight, facial features. You start telling her how good your ex was and this and that. This is how I was At raised. At this point, she's already too deep embedded to you. You can make her feel so worthless to the point where she actually feels like you might be the only one that she deserves. It's evil as hell. Good luck. You get a good laugh so, out of that, uh, Tom. Yeah. Is I mean, it better the second just, time around for you? I fucking love it. Who is that cat? He just gives good advice. He does uh, dating advice. Oh, man, um, I got to follow him. Yeah, right. this guy's awesome. He um, gets it. You got to try this, man. I mean, that's unbelievable. Yeah. And then he, I love that he's shaking. He's like, oh, yeah. You know, it's, re it's real fucked up. Then he's like, shakes his head. I just taught you how to do it. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, I think you should. I think, you, I mean, that could really work. Yeah, no, it definitely does work. That's why he's telling you. Yeah. This is this is a very evil dark game. Isn't yeah. that the game yeah. that like all those pickup artists started? That's that's the whole uh, thing. Yeah. The negging. Yeah. yeah. The, you like you yeah. take them down. Yeah. And you, I'm like, oh, the, the, gross. That was yeah, the thing I saw on like gross. where the that one's a little quicker though. That's where like you the you meet yeah. a girl at the bar or something and you're like, oh, yeah, you probably look better with with longer hair. Yeah. Like right, right away like, and then the girl's like, yeah. oh, like, you you just try to make her feel insecure. Yeah. And then they're like, it works. Do it. Oh, oh my Jesus God. Christ! Yeah, that's not like ruin her life. Like this no, guy this is, is like, like this is destroy someone's life. Relocate yeah. her to your fucking town, and then isolate her, and then destroy her internally. And he goes, and here's the blueprint. <laughs> so crazy, dude. I don't suggest it, but if you wanted to, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty. Yeah. That's terrible. Yeah, fucking so cool. Wait, words of affirmation and physical touch. You know what I? What like? are the what are the love languages? I'll tell you mine. I already know, but look it up anyway. I Words like, of oh, go ahead. I, I like time spent, time quality allocated, time. Qu quality QT. Time. Yeah, me too. If you don't do that with me, I'm cold as ice. I'm all about quality time. That's all I care about, yeah. honestly. Words of affirmation, quality time, receiving gifts, acts of service, physical touch. Yeah. I like words of affirmation. You can pick two. And QT. Yeah. Here you go. So right. our words of affirmation things overlap. That's and true. Then, Words of affirmation work for me, for sure. You like yeah. dick touches, and I like time touches. That's not on, actually that's not on there. <laughs> it says physical touch. It's not on there. <laughs> dick touches. I, I just would love to see you guys if you had to go to couples therapy. Like, why? Well, I, I try to give them a dick touch every day. The, the, the person, oh, okay. Yeah, let me write that down. Dick it's touch. okay. It's, a, it's okay to use the words that that you feel comfortable with. <laughs> dick touches. Yeah. I, I say marital loves. That's what I call it. Marital loves. Okay. Making them dick touches. Oh Jesus! Well, here, let's. Here's a good palate cleanser. Yeah. Okay. Fuck, dude. This yeah. one's amazing. Is that your producer who's playing the one on one game? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. So this but, is guys. A guy with guy, rotten teeth. No. And he's shaving down all the teeth, and they're putting veneers on. Yeah, but he got great veneers. No, these are outstanding. These are actually excellent, Jay. They really are. I don't know. He who, did the right shade and everything. Those look at are that. Good. Those are you nice, know why? Dude. I'll tell you what. What makes those veneers better than the bad ones? You see, you see how there's some translucency at the bottom. Mm -hmm. They look like that's, real teeth. They look yeah. like that's the secret is translucency. You can't don't go get them, billboard white. No, you know? don't make it like one color. <laughs> see, we have friends, guys. We have they friends. Look crazy. I got crazy teeth issues. Like teeth. Do you? Really? Yeah. Teeth? Oh, I know. No, thank you. I do have great teeth. But my my uncle was my dentist as a kid, and he would fill our cavities. No Novocaine. Nothing. What? Nothing. Why? Why? I don't know. Toughen Saving you up? My, toughen you up. And I talked to a dentist about that, and they're like, yeah, a lot of dentists used to do that because they didn't, you know, you don't you don't ultimately need it. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, you do. So every yeah, time I go to the dentist do. now, I'm just like, good. I hate the dentist. Well, yeah, they should numb you up. You need it. I hate it. it. You need it. Do you like the dentist? No. I like going because I know that I'm not going to end up with more shit yeah. happening. I hate, it. I hate it. I do. I mean, I go. I don't, I don't, yeah. I'm not like not going, but I handle my shit. But I'll tell you, by the way, I saw your that Those Ryan dude in the bathroom like taking insulin shot. I don't think that guy's up for a one on one game. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't think so. Uh, you you and me both, that. chief. You know oh what I'm shit! I just don't think so. Um, I can't do that with the teeth. I hope I've had so much dental work over the last five years. You think you can play one on one? 
No, you okay. know, but I will say I was when growing up, I played soccer and baseball. I played baseball through college, soccer yeah. through high school. Never played basketball, like organized, but I played with my friends, and I'd always win in two and two. And I would just like when I hit a basket, I'd be like, "Never been coached, yeah, never, never been, been coached. coached." Yeah, always yelling it. What kind of teeth issues do you have? I grind my teeth, so I have to wear a mouth guard. Yeah, and like I just have to like use sensitive toothpaste. I've got like I've had root canals. Yo, I had a root canal go bad. No, go bad, and sat through an entire play with my ex, and I'm like, I think this is. And then I had to go to the ER that night because they had what? to give me a painkiller because there was nothing else I could I could do. It what was do like mean, at a nine out of ten. What do you maybe. mean it went wrong? They didn't they didn't scoop out all the decay and something, it was still there. It broke. They put one in and it broke, or something happened and it broke. And I'm telling you, I was like, oh. It was broken. They gave me painkillers. I took the painkillers. They didn't work. No. So I was at the play, like going through level nine, ten pain, and then afterwards I had to go to the ER. Fuck. And then they and I sat in the ER for three hours. Sickler came and sat with me for like an hour and a half. And then Seriously. he's like, he's like, I got to get out of here, man. I can't do it. And I'm like, all right. And I sat there till three in the morning. And then they gave me a painkiller. And then I had to go in the next day. And they they were like, yeah, we're gonna just pull the whole thing out yeah, and redo, redo it. Redo it. And it was just like horrible. But they put me under for that one. Yeah. And like under under. Oh, yeah, out. And by the way, I think I'm a fun dude. There is nothing more fun about me than when I'm coming out of being oh, put bad. under. Oh, yeah. I crushed. You crushed? It, yeah. I was with my ex. We're, we're in an elevator. There's an old lady. I'm like, how you doing? I'm just like, <laughs> and my, my ex is dying laughing. This, oh, I could do that That's all fun. day. That's yeah, I was fun. Thing, I love surgery. I love going under. I, like, I love anesthesia. Jeez. I do too, but you don't love surgery. I mean, you you've had some surgery. hardcore surgery. Yeah, but I love anesthesia. being put out, I'm saying. I love being put out. Yeah. Yeah. I love the dilated. I love coming out of that. It's coming so, back and being like, what happened? I want them to go like, we got to put you back out again. I'm like, do it. Do yeah, it right now. Yeah. Yeah. I've only had yeah. it twice and I loved it. Yeah, it's the, it's the best, man. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. Have you been put out? Yeah, I, I broke my ankle two years ago. That was cool. Wisdom teeth removal. That's really it. Yeah. I ruptured my Achilles oh, last, last year. Last year you did? IVF? IVF. When they took out my, when they harvested my eggs. That's three times I've been put out. Harvested it's good. my eggs. Are yeah, you they from take the future. They take your eggs out, and then you tell them to put, put the ugly ones back, right? <laughs> yeah, throw them in the garbage. The yeah. ugly ones. Got it. Yeah. Attractive yeah. kids only. This one's not going to spell so well. You want to keep it, and you're like, <laughs> mm, no, throw it in the trash. So where? How did you tear your, your tear your Achilles? Playing that's a gnarly playing paddle tennis. Paddle tennis. Yeah, it and didn't hurt. Casually, doesn't hurt at all. I mean, ping like, pong. Was it? Was it? A, what, did you like go for it, or did it just? No. Nope. So you just like just back pedaling dominating and then just tennis you literally was wrong right like away? that i thought i got hit in the i thought something i thought like a ball came over and hit me because like i fell down and i go oh, what's that and i go to get back up and my foot was like no and my two buddies were like lifting me up and i go what and i go oh my god i go we got to go right now we got to go right now i knew immediately you go to the emergency room no so i got home my buddies were like yeah hey, should ice it you'll be fine and ice i go i think something's wrong and then i called my doctor and I was like, I think something's wrong. And I went in. Because I didn't tear it completely. I ruptured it. So it's like a half tear. And then I went in. They're like, yeah, it's, you know, it's ruptured. That's, dude, that's a long recovery. What? So did you? how soon did you do the surgery? Right away? or I didn't do the surgery. Oh, so really? when you rupture, you can either get the surgery where they cut it completely uh -uh. and then sew it. Or you can just go right into a cast and it heals itself. It does heal itself? It heals itself. You'll be surprised what your body can do on its own. So... That is like, it's the same recovery, and they've done like tons of How long like, are you in the boot? I was in a full cast for a month straight of like a hard cast, and then a boot for Fuck like that. three to four months. And hold on, hold on. I, was, I couldn't drive. It was my right foot, so oh, I couldn't drive for two months. So I got, a, I got a, a Vesper scooter, electric, and I would, that's how I would take the kids to school. We'd go crutches on the seat, no. me, River, Reed, backpack on me, and just cruising around. People like, people... People's reaction was either like, Wait, what's on the seat? What kind of father are you? Yeah. Or they were like, fucking go, bro. Wait, what'd you put on the seat for them? No, it's a Vespa. Right. So it's a long seat. So I would sit all the way in the back. River would go there. And no my son would shit. sit right up front. We're just like. That's terrifying. Like a little Thai family. How far are you driving them? <laughs> we would, uh, the farthest we went, we had to take Reed to like, yeah. he skateboards at the time at this like skate park in, uh, on Jefferson and Culver City. And that was like. That was a solid like six miles, maybe. Okay. Yeah. But you're taking side streets and yeah. Shit. yeah. I mean, the biggest street I was taking is Sentinella, but like, 
it's not a huge guys it's helmets very, yeah helmets okay. there have been a couple times no helmets <laughs> yeah. and i was like like i picked the kids up at school on the vespa you know i still now we do it all the time like yeah. they just love it i kind of want to get a vespa now oh bro i'll tell you the one i got it's 100 percent electric you plug it in 35 miles for the charge i take them we just be in the house Jay, and i go stop encouraging I go, anybody want to go for a cruise and they're Jesus like yup yep we go around they so now i do it with my son where like he holds on and I just keep my hands back here and he send works, me this link as soon as the gas no. break is right here break right there they love send it send me the link right away okay Jay, please. This is, please okay so what would have been the recovery time had you gone in for surgery same same amount they That's put why you in a cast as well yeah yeah and a boot for three fucking months yeah That's but you know what happened horrible. I bounced out of the boot early because I got COVID and my son got COVID so I was in the house for a week straight just the two of us so i didn't put the boot on and then i was like oh i don't really need the boot but what i didn't know or i didn't pay attention to is like there was a wedge to keep your foot like this so the achilles so it can heal tighter so mine isn't as tight so the guy's like i go so what's going to happen he's like well you're not going to be dunking i'm like dude i couldn't dunk before i go can i golf can i play tennis can i run he's like yeah I'm doing a 5k with my son in may there so, you go so we're gonna you know, cool. do that how old is your son nine he's doing a 5k Aww. that's yeah. pretty cool yeah, when this say when I was in the hospital with this, Doc was like, "Hey, uh, so I could put you in a cast or operate," and I was like, "Really?" Like, because my shit was just like shattered. Yeah, man. And I was like, uh, "I have the option." I go, he goes, "Yeah, like the cast is much longer, but if the cast doesn't make you heal right, then we're gonna operate oh. after the cast comes off." And I was like, "Oh." Oh, shit so what should i do he goes what are you fucking crazy operate i go why are you even asking me then he's yeah. like i don't know i gotta give you the option i was like all right operate. yeah you, well you know why the guy wants to also give you the option because no surgeon wants you to not get the surgery they're getting yeah. paid by the surgery so when the guy was telling me he's like i recommend the surgery but you can not i go well what what's the recovery he goes it's the same and i go well what do people say and he goes it you know studies have shown that it's like just as beneficial and i'm like well, then just, I go, I can leave here today in the cast? He's like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, do that. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want surgery if you don't have to. Yeah, if you don't have to. No. I think I had to. Though. I no. think so, bro. Yeah, yeah no, you should pretty bad. But didn't they put like steel shit in your arms? Yeah. You I have, want the I rods. have a plate in here still. Yeah. yeah. Wait a minute. So rods. do you really, would you really be afraid to have a little electric Vespa with the... Oh my God, yes. Because why? Because she's just scared. Because I don't want him in the streets on some shit. He's going to put my fucking kids on there. Like, no. He already is into like helicopter piloting and race car driving uh he's already in high risk behaviors but the vest the thing only goes 30 miles an hour yeah listen on a bike you people, can get up to go ahead and google you know. vespa injuries listen around austin we have oh, these stupid fuck. bird yeah, things know. you know how many fucking injuries though that's basically a vespa same shit different no toilet. way this thing is heavy okay the vespa. scooter no, how many scooter injuries? Are Vespas safer than a bicycle? Click that. Oh, click that one. Click that. That's the stat well, you We're need. not talking about bicycles. We're well, talking we're about The kids are going to ride bicycles for every million miles traveled. In a safe environment. Five times lower than bikes. Yeah, because bicycles are highly dangerous, but I wouldn't let my kids ride in, the, in traffic. You're in traffic. Please, how many scooter accidents a year? Let me tell you what deaths. your kids would always remember. Those Vespa rides. My kids are always, they love it. <laughs> no they, thanks. All the time. They honk the horn no at thanks. people. Bing, 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 bing. Okay. Go okay. ahead. Do you get nervous? 4,500. Get... Oh, to 14,651 injuries. Does she get nervous about the kids? Yeah, of course. Well, on a Vespa, yeah. Yeah, on a Vespa, you're, not, you're scared. I got but a zip line I, in the backyard. I, no, no, but I don't overprotect my boys. That's we true. were just talking about this last yeah. episode. They have a trampoline. I encourage them to fuck with each other. I, I encourage them to be wildlings. No, they're not pussies, if that's what you're asking. They're no, that's not, not what I'm asking at all. I think you just actually went there. Pussies. You just actually took it there. No. No, they're, they're you know. They're strong and resilient. Yeah. They beat the fuck out of grown men. But. Oh, they try to. Interesting, yeah. yeah. They like to go after it. Cool. They're like, I'm fucking stronger than you, man. I'm like, okay. Yeah, I let them yeah. be wild. Yeah. But, you know. Whatever. We'll Switchblades or anything we'll like a, that? We'll get a Vespa. No, but I let them play with fake guns and like pop caps. And we have those shit that you throw on the floor and it snaps. And yeah, they're yeah, way snaps. too young for that. Uh, not just those. I get the, not just the sperm ones, but like the real fucking d chunkers. I pick up those and I let them do that. I find them with knives sometimes. Four and you know? seven. Yeah. <laughs> I, love the, I love the lines you draw. You're like, Vespa, no, but <laughs> bottle rockets at the neighbors, sure. Fine. <laughs> sure. It's good. It's uh, all good. Make him into a real boy. 
Yeah. Make him a real boy. I like boys. Boy stuff. Yeah. I mean, good night and don't forget to eat shit. I mean, that's what my <laughs> youngest says. I know. Yeah, that's crazy. Psychos. I got a boy and a girl. My boy is like the most zen master non-boy things you'd ever imagine. Really? Yeah. Walks to the breakfast table reading a book. Really? Yeah. Brushes his teeth reading a book. Jesus. Loves reading. Wow. Not sports, not really his thing, you know? And that's why I like how we're encouraging him to run because he likes to run. Like, he can just run. Like, we did two miles together and he talked the whole time like, bro, I can't talk back, dude. I'm yeah. gassed. Yeah, of course. And he's just yeah. got that young, I'm nine years old. My yeah. body, it's crazy. you could They're like a deer at that age. Run for days. Yeah. yeah. And your girl? Uh, she's not into sports either. She's into the fashion design. That's cool. Yeah. She takes Perfect sewing for you. classes. You probably talk about that shit all the time. Oh, yeah. I love it. Style she, choices. and That chick goes to, she'll like, we go to a play and then she's like, you want to go for sushi? We walk for sushi. She's she's insane. That's um, awesome. Yeah, she's pretty rad. But uh, oh, yeah, they I just they just did this fitness challenge at school. And like, so I volunteered and I'm running like the blocks part, like this track and you run around. My daughter coming at me first time around seeing me. She just goes, can we get ice cream tonight? And I'm Aww. like, I don't, we'll figure it out. Get moving. Yeah. Then I come back to the school three hours later for his class. He's coming around. First thing, can we do a double feature tonight? Like t watch two movies. And I'm like, just go, bro. I don't know what time we're going to have. <laughs> They're crazy. You know, I will say the <laughs> nice thing about divorced dads is that you guys kind of get more involved because you kind of have to in a way if you choose to. No. Not my dad. My dad no. doesn't. My involved. dad left completely, but right. I was involved before we were divorced. You were I mean, I was in. doing all the field trips that, you know, that's why I think my career is shit because <laughs> I was just always doing that. But that we talked about touring. I never was touring ever because I'm like, oh, well, then I don't get to be with them mainly because my dad wasn't there for me. You know yeah. what I mean? And I was like, well, I got to be there. Like literally six months ago when I knew I would do some road work after the special, I said to the kids, I'm like, listen, I'm going to start going on the road more and I'm going to start working more. So I won't be around as much. Like when I, when I have the kids, I just pick them up as early as I can from school. And then they just come home. Whereas they normally go to aftercare, you know, and they mm -hmm. just know I'm like, I'm just around. I'll get up early at five to do my work so that they can, when, when I pick them up from school, I can just have them in the afternoon and we can zip line. We can, you know, go for scooter rides. We do their homework. I do homework with them. I'm always going over their homework, you know? So you're good dad. Yeah. Cause that's all I really wanted. You know what I mean? Like I wanted that from a young age, but now like we've like built a strong base and now I've told them like, all right, I just can't be around a ton, but we, I, you know, I'm still around a ton. Yeah. That's nice. But you do get that time when you are divorced that, you know, half the time I can't be with them. You know what I mean? So it's that's when you, you build your shit. Oh, yeah. The day after they leave is tough. You know, you got to build that, that time in to get your work done when you're not with them, you know. Sounds like uh, a Vespa helps a lot, though. That's a pretty cool thing to have with your kids. <laughs> Dude, it <laughs> yeah. does. Yeah. You know, um, but I will say my ex is pretty rad and we get along well. So like when she's with them, I have dinner over there and I just Vesper over there. I remember yeah. one morning my daughter there, said to there me. There it goes again. My daughter said to me, she said, you know, if I was a boy, dad, I said, yeah. She goes, I'd only want to ride Vespas with you. And I was like, wow. That's I mean, it's so like the sweet. whole episode is like a case for a Vespa. Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah. that's the, that's what you got out of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like I need to go like on the way home. You dropped me off at the Vespa place. Yeah. Mike Bertolina. Okay. When I got that thing, he goes, I'll never forget. My dad had a Vespa when I was growing up in San Francisco Dude. and he would take all the kids in the neighborhoods for rides. Like I've taken every one of my friends' kids for rides. <laughs> Don't look at me. And they all are like, "Can we go for a ride in the Vespa? Can we go?" And I'm always like, "Yeah." And one day I was taking my daughter and her friend for a ride on the Vespa, and we went to their their school, the elementary school, and it, the gate was unlocked, and we went onto the campus, and we're just like cruising around the campus. How much do you think those kids talk about? When I show up at school, they're all like, "Jay," because they're like, "There's a Vespa guy." What color is your Vespa? Silver. Oh, that's kind of cool. Right, cool. I changed my mind. I like silver. I wanted midnight blue. Yeah. Oh, I, I thought I, th I thought you were going to say blue or like actually turquoise. Google the Vespa. Those are beautiful. The turquoise in Austin. Is, is it played it's, out? No, it's rad, but it's not from, I mean, you know, I'm femme, but that's yeah. a little. Uh, it's a beautiful color. I wouldn't want that full time. No, Vespa, you know what? The, Vespa Austin. Oh, man, it's right there. I'll drop you off there after this, Tom. You, guys, you can Vespa home. <laughs> Go ahead and buy one. If you make it home. You get to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> can you can you hit the site? Can you actually that that there? Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Vespa. Oh man. There you go. This well, you just double your life insurance. Go for it. 
I'm gonna tell you something. But you don't take it on the I don't take it on the highway. The busiest street I would take it on is Sentinella, and I, I just you 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 do all back roads. That's okay. all you do. No, that's fine. I'm gonna yeah. tell you this right now. Sure. He's gonna get it. It's and fine. he's going to take you out, and you're going to be like, no, let's fuck tonight. He's not taking me out tonight. He's never taking me out of that. I'm never going to go with you on that. We can't have both of us die in once. Die. Because one of us has to raise the kids. This is not a chopper. It's Listen, a fucking can I tell you, sorry, you know how you, you, the reason you're a good father is because you had no father? Mm-hmm. My father, when he was 18 years old in Budapest, Hungary, was on a fucking motorcycle, bullshit scooter, slid in underneath a truck in front of him, right? The truck stop, stopped suddenly. He skids under it, knocked out all his front teeth and cracked his head open. Well, look at the look at the teeth he could get. <laughs> yeah, thank you. That's why we played this. Come on. The guy's got a winning smile now. First of all, Austin, Texas no. and Budapest are a little different vibe. You didn't even say it right, it's Budapest. Whatever it is. Yeah. I thought you fucked up when Budapest. you said Budapest. Yeah. No, won't do it. All right. I, that's so ingrained in me, no. Yeah, but Never. that was a motorcycle. Do you like to support the marginalized people out there? <laughs> <laughs> like look, look, there are people that are popular on TikTok and then people who need their popularity built. Mm-hmm. And um, we support those marginalized communities. Got it, yeah. We do not. Christina does. does. Yeah. yeah. I love them. Show me. Oh, boy. Beautiful Saturday. <clears throat> kind of a cool breeze, but it's getting hot. Oof. But I'm barbecuing goat anyway. Just sitting back here by the fire, mm-hmm. watching it cook and get beautiful. Mm-hmm. Where is this guy? I don't know. I might even cook a steak later on. Oh, wow. No. <clears throat> Y'all have a really wonderful Saturday. Thanks, okay. buddy. Please. Please. Sweet guy. Yeah. yeah. Making goat. Do you like goat? No. No. I mean, I haven't had it. It's I used disgusting. to have a trainer that was African. And like, I remember we like had a session on a Monday. And I go, how was your week? And he's like, good, man. I bought a goat. <laughs> go, you did? He goes, 200 goat. bucks. Me and my buddy, we split it. I go, oh, you split a goat. He's like, yeah, I like a goat. Yeah. Jamaicans love goat too. Oh, goat yeah. stews and all that. Are you guys into know. goat? No. No. Yeah, I've never. had it. But you know, never. I don't think I have the passion that this guy has. No. <laughs> did you enjoy that video? Yeah, I mean, I'd follow him for sure. David Gold. Oh, this is plumbers, what? and they pull cool stuff oh. out of pipes. What the? I just thought this was kind of crazy. Look what that motherfucker pulled out of somebody's plumbing, bro. Oh, damn. Oh, it's still going. Oh, wow. It's still going. Ah, oh, dude. Holy Looks like it's hay and roots. It's hair, and yeah. Hair, yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. You know what's not impressive is that no water came gushing That's, out yeah, after. Yeah, I was waiting for that too. That, that would have been so satisfying. The yeah. placenta, the yeah. afterbirth. You yeah. know what you can charge when the water? Look, look at what I just did for you. Yeah. This, they're like, well, it seems like it's going the same rate. Same rate. Yeah. 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 Where's the baby? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, that was rad. That was nasty. It was so uh, satisfying. What's your wellness routine look like now? I eat dinner early in the evening. I do a nice intermittent fast. I usually eat something about 12. Mm-hmm. Um, and in the morning, I'll have some things that won't spike my blood sugar, right? So I, I have coffee, but I really like soup for lunch. Um, I have bone broth for lunch a lot of the days. Try to do one hour of movement. So I'll either take a walk or I'll do Pilates or I'll do my Tracy Anderson. And then I get in the sauna. I dry brush and I get in the sauna. So I do my infrared sauna for 30 minutes. And then for dinner, I try to eat, you know, according to paleo. So lots of vegetables. It's really important for me to support my detox. (sighs) That was a lot. I don't know why. Do you guys sauna? No, uh, I I do it. On, I don't have one. Um, I do it on the road a lot. Yeah, I, I go to places that that have them. I enjoy it. I I do it at the gym. You know, like yeah. I have it, and so I started at ten minutes and then started to try to work my way up. Yeah, what are you laughing? <laughs> I'll I'll leave it to him. Yeah. That she just looked like a Holocaust victim. In Jesus, <laughs> she does look. I mean, I don't know what is her deal. I don't fault. Well, she, okay. she basically left acting. Uh-huh. Essentially, I, I mean, maybe she still does some, but took you know started this company. It's become a huge success. Yeah. Goop. 
Yeah. And and she's like this wellness. She's like a she's wellness, a wellness brand now. person. For sure. So this clip went viral a while back because people were like, "She's starving herself," and you're like, "Oh my god!" Newsflash: the Hollywood actress has an eating disorder. Mm -hmm. No fucking shit. So I think it's funny that like people are like, "Oh my god!" And on the other hand, I go, "Yeah, she's middle aged. When you're middle aged, you can't eat." You know That's how I, you fucking stay thin. She did the pussy candles too. Remember those were oh, a those hit. Oh, those were a yeah, hit. That is insane. Yeah. But you know what I will say? You know how like David Goggins says like when you get exhausted and you're working out, you're really at 60%? Yeah. I think it's the same with, I think we think, especially in America, that you need to eat so much a more because we don't. just feed it, but you really don't. So you I don't, don't think she's... I don't think she's starving. I think that she's probably been like this for actually a, probably a, a pretty long time. Yeah. And she's just used she's to not little. consuming much. She doesn't yeah, have to eat that much. Yeah. But if she's doing Tracy Anderson, which but is most like of us do eat way fucking way too much. Eat. The Tracy Anderson's a very famous um, exercise lady in mm -hmm. L.A. That's a pretty rigorous workout. Yeah, so, she couldn't so, do that if she was really struggling. Yeah, she. But she does need to eat more if she's doing Tracy Anderson. I mean, yeah. an hour of Pilates, you gotta eat something. She. I'm sure her real routine is exhausting. If you went yeah. into detail, you'd be like. Phew. Oh, and during this interview, she was doing an IV at the same time, so she was getting like a wellness IV. And the man she's talking to is actually her doctor. Oh, really? Yeah. He's an actual medical doctor? He's he seems he's like a fucking her doctor, backyard doctor, if you know what I mean. Uh, like, yeah, of course. Sit yeah. by the fire. Let me tell you a couple stories. Sure. I'll tell you, yeah. I did uh, I did date this one woman who like was very healthy and in amazing shape. And like she would cook for me once in a while. And when she would cook for me, I'd be like, holy, I can't even... If I ate like this all the time, I would just be shredded and diesel. Yeah. And it felt so good. You, you finish eating and you just feel like fresh. What did she make you? Goat. I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> she had a Just full like goat. protein and like veg. Yes. And, and it was like, curve. and they weren't giant portions. Yeah. You know what I mean? Normal people eat crazy small portions. That's what you realize when you've eaten like yeah, a real bro. dude for years. Yeah. You know, you eat with somebody who's like, like who's who weighs like 160 naturally and they're just like a couple bites. So like, I'm good. And you're like, yeah. Um, you're like, Are you really? <laughs> yeah. They don't eat a lot. Yeah. yeah. My son's like that. He does not eat a ton. He's like, and there's, and he, he'll literally just go, I think I'm good. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, oh, um, yeah. All right. all right. That's healthy. Well, we have friends who make their little girls count bites. Like just kids, four more bites. And you're like, boy, that's how you get an eating disorder. That's, right that's how you sign up for it. Yeah. 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 Counting or, bites. Counting bites. Bad hey, idea. Hey. I just got this neck tattoo. It's not finished. It's supposed to go gradient down lower. Um, and I'm oh, having a whole entire... God. <sighs> whole entire identity crisis because it slightly nobody else would ever probably notice but me but it slightly alters the shape of my face <laughs> nobody I like I don't yeah it sure does <laughs> and y'all are probably like well, what do you think you're gonna get us a bold tattoo and I drew it on painted it on so many times <sighs> But the difference uh, but listen, but listen, this makes um, sense. When I drew it on and colored it on, I would always like, when you lift your head super far back, you can kind of see where your jawline is, like, <laughs> your throat. And I would always follow that. So it would always be below my jaw, not over. And I told her that, but it's okay. And, it's not um, okay. That ever so slight difference of it being below my jaw instead of over my jaw made a world of difference. Because like, it's on my actual face. Like this is... That's part of my cheek. My jaw does like they this little up. motion here. Yeah, they you can't up. see it. It's rounded off. So I feel like my face is smothering into my neck. <sighs> Anyways, I'm just having a hard time coming to terms with this, but oh, this fuck. is my face now. <sighs> Unless there's a solution I don't know about, please, if so, let me know in the comments. Then this is my new face, and I just need to rock it with confidence. So no, no. 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 She's so young. No. She's so young. No, you need to like immediately address it. You need to start the removal How? of the removal? of like How? she needs to start removing where they where it starts. She has to Why like, would you start there? First of all, it, does the same person do her hair? Like what is going on? <laughs> it's like you can't get any the lines she's not getting any of these lines right. <laughs> She doesn't even have a sleeve tattoo. Don't you think you'd be like, oh, let me try a sleeve on before I do my neck? Well, and this is much like men's facial hair. Like where you cut that beard is everything, right? Because we've had friends that cut it like too high. Yeah, you cut it here. I know. That's what that yeah. is. It's a bad beard line. That's a bad beard. It's exactly what it is. You oh, know what this is? This is bad girl. parent. This is, this is not having a strong, I mean, I don't know what this is, but she's very pretty. 
No, this is this is this is dad wasn't around. This is dad wasn't this is around. Dad wasn't around. Mom was a narcissist. This is yeah. like, oh you, fuck, she got a yeah. lot. Yeah, I mean, oh, got it sucks because you're. She's absolutely right. Like, had they followed the line she'd wanted, it would just look like she's wearing what a turtle. What she really needs, she really needs to do is a fuck. tell that lady you fucked up. You really like we went over this, and you definitely fucked up. <laughs> And then there's no way you should go like I'll just accept this and rock it. You you have to address it. You, you have, have to, to address I'm so, it. I'm so I'm so bummed for her. Yeah. Like I feel so sad for her. It's like because when you get a bad haircut, yeah, you just, just let it grow out. Yeah, that's like, right. This? this is what she did. She's just like yeah. fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you need the you need the line. You gotta yeah. work up to that first of all. Oh man, because it would actually look dope if you like it's did a black tattoo under people. the jawline. I think you look like you've got a turtleneck on. Like you always look kind of thin and dope. Yeah, it would look kind of cool. But the line cannot start. I just wonder, like, Fuck. couldn't you feel that it was starting in the wrong spot? Yeah, or but like, how do you? Are you, first... uh, are you under the jaw, though? Like, and the lady's like, yeah, I got you. Like, but you're under it. Like, yeah. what is the time that that took? How many, oh, that's how not many quick. sittings? That's not they quick. do like a thicker brush, I think. Like, it's got multi needles when they do jet, like, black oh, filler. That, I want, by the way, we got to get, oh. we got to get follow up on this. There's got to be more to this story. It's too good. God damn yeah, it. Zola, has, can you out. check now if she has posted since, or is this like, let's check she now. come back and she's got sideburns tattooed on guys. <laughs> I don't know. Is this, God damn it. Yeah. Cause that this, this tough. I found a long time ago and I haven't seen the follow. Holy this shit. Is, these are two little dogs playing with a snake. Playing with it. <laughs> I don't know if I call that playing. That snake's that in amazing? another dimension right now. <laughs> is it a fake snake? No. Oh, it's real. Uh, no, that's real as shit. They love it. Dogs oh, love real. dead. Yeah. How much fun is that if you're yeah, a dog? One of those dogs is the boss, and he's on the left. Yeah, yeah that little fatty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. My favorite memory of FIFO, rest in peace, our little guy, we used to have a lot of rats in the valley when we mm -hmm. lived there, and we put rat, rat traps everywhere. They're like little blue squares of poison, mm -hmm. and you hide them in something. Well, Fief comes running up to me one day, just happy as shit, just trotting on the grass. And he's got that brick, the poison brick in his mouth. And he's like, hey, mom. Oh, and you're like, oh. Um, Give me the Fief. He was fine. He didn't die that oh, day. Yeah, he'd find all kinds of living stuff around the house. That was fun. Are you guys into snakes? No. Not into them. I, I, I love them because they're beautiful, but I wouldn't want to own one. Yeah. I'm I like not reptiles. In, okay. I'm not into snakes at all. But like we went camping with another family and yeah. we're in the water and there were water snakes. And <gasps> water snakes, dude, they, they, this is how they swim. So like Ooh. this is out of the Ooh. water and they're just coming. And I was like, oh, I'm about to be a dad. And I go, watch this, guys. And I go and I grab it. And as soon as I touch it, I go, ah! And my buddy's daughter to this day, she goes, remember when you got so scared of that snake? I'm like, shut the fuck up, bitch. Yeah, pussy. <laughs> That's amazing. Was it much, much larger? No, it was a little tiny snake. Oh, it was? Yeah, okay. it wasn't like, this wasn't like Indiana Jones type snake. It was just like a little tiny water sure. snake that wouldn't do anything. They don't bite you or they're, no. they're not going to? Okay. No, and I was never like a kid who's like, oh, <gasps> okay. let me go get snakes. We, oh, found like, we have the an girl. update on the Oh my God, on the please, test. please. <gasps> okay. okay. All right. I just want to reiterate that, that the art, okay, <gasps> let's go back here. I want to reiterate that the artist is not at fault. I'm simply showing this to demonstrate what I was talking about. I wanted a full... Blackout, so the draws, on, the drawn on was simply to trace my jaw and see how I liked the line. I knew the blackout would be more drastic, and that's what I was wanting. I'm just learning the new curves of my face is all, and was seeing if anyone knew of any tricks to make the use. The line seem lower, lower, and you will all definitely pull through with lots of suggestions. She's I'm lying. not mad. I was just going through a little shock. So she feels guilty for calling out. She yeah. feels guilty. So, wait, but so she, she was showing the before pictures of her like practicing on herself and that that's what it looked like, I think. All right, let's really? see the one. Let's see the before real quick. Yeah, let's so hit see the it. play on that. Like, yeah. Yeah, I agree. The line she wanted yeah, look is at the one she wanted. Di different. Yeah, she wanted it here. She wanted it under her neck. Under the, yeah. That's not what she. So that's got. what she was saying. That that was like her practice thing. Yeah, and the practice things look great. That actually is cool right. as shit. Yeah, that looks dope. And then that's not what she. And what she got is not what she was no. looking for. No. Fuck. So, but wait a minute. I, I'm confused by this. I think she's scared to. This woman probably was, or the artist was like, "Don't you fucking tell me, blah blah blah." And then she's like, "Oh, yeah. let me retract. I'm afraid. I'm no, scared." But what she got. Okay, what's that second one? What does this one say? 
because we didn't play. Right? Um, I've seen a lot of people asking this question, so I'm just addressing this specific comment. Didn't you draw a line on you first? First of all, I did not expect this to blow up. I have nobody on this account. I have no views. I was just having a hard time. I was venting. I was probably going to feel embarrassed about it in two minutes and delete it. It wasn't supposed to blow up, but now I feel really bad because I don't want any hate to come onto the artist. That's they sweet. did stencil it on. I even have a video of that. I can post it. They did stencil it on. I did approve it. I looked in the mirror and approved it. But I will say we were both so excited. I was, she was so hype. I was hype. I looked in the mirror for like two seconds. I was like, yeah, yeah, let's go. <laughs> but the thing with the stencil, the line, when you just draw the line on, because like I've said, I've drawn this on myself quite a few times and I'll probably post those pictures as well, just so you guys can see what I mean by the difference. So, you know, I'm not going crazy. Um, when you just draw the line, it's really hard to visualize what it's all going to look like until it's colored in. Okay. It's, it's such a minute difference. It's not. It's so small, like <laughs> such a small variation. It's a whole centimeter. It's not. It, it's just hard to visualize it until it's done. No, baby, you know? she fucked you up. It's a yeah, major press pause. She so fucked because you here's up. what she, in the in that final one where she goes huge difference. What she's showing in that is what she used to do. Yeah. To, to, and then what she actually got. And the difference is dramatic. Yeah, it's not the, the same. difference is like, it's a cool, it's like, this is on my neck and now it's on her face. That's the difference. Yeah, it's below the jaw or on the jaw. By the way, she looks and like Abraham like, Lincoln a little bit. You know <laughs> no, what I mean? No, yeah, that's and the problem. And she does it. She's so nice. She doesn't want anybody to attack the artist, but right. the artist didn't Did do what you thought you should And also we all we all have had that where you're just so stoked to haircuts get the haircut shit, yeah. to get the thing and you're just like yeah that's great and, like, yes. and you don't really think it through What haircut guys you don't you don't go get a normal this is this no, would this be is, like let me get a let me get a mohawk for the first time <laughs> yeah. this isn't like oh let me get a cut i can't wait to get a new cut this is No but everyone knows the feeling she's saying of being like, like stoke, you see a haircut, and you're, you're just like, excited, I want that. Mm -hmm. and then you get it, and you're like, "That's well, shit." For, I'll give it. Cool. I'll give a great for instance. Yeah. Remember when McDonald's approached us, and they were like, "Would you mind painting your mom's house set yellow and red?" And at first, we were like, "Yeah, we saw a mom. This is fucking great." And then you get in there, and you're like, "Whoa, Whoa. that yeah, is too." Hardcore. And we were just so excited to have a new set. Mm -hmm. And then they so were like, I we, don't, we didn't know what your material was about. It's like, well, you should have fucking looked it up before when you offered, you know, to yeah. sponsor the show. Anyway. You're they, like, first of all, our material is the equivalent to the quality of your meat. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> this is, they both give you diarrhea. <laughs> what, do you, yeah. what do you think? We will have Ugh. people eat your food and then we'll post we'll talk the videos. About it. We'll talk about video diarrhea. What it can we like. put this? Can we do this? Is there anybody oh, in the world that can fix that girl's? tattoo are you listening to this podcast can you help this girl i feel can like because they do amazing tattoo removal now that she needs to like start by removing she more than to. she needs removed like in other words bring it down like yes. to here and then redo the starting point right so yeah. she needs to go through that removal what you have is fucked you cannot keep that you can't keep and it. think it's that okay. your confidence is enough to get through with it they didn't give you what you wanted mm -mm. yeah and then people you know i'm not saying that people should um you know but so you, you need to accept that the artist failed you. That's what I'm saying. You can still, like, you can go to a restaurant and have a bad experience, and they can still, I mean, you don't have to bounce them on, on Yelp and shit on them and take yeah. them down. But, you know, this is, they ruined, <laughs> they ruined, I mean, that's, that's she your seems, face. That's your face, man. That is your face. That's your face. If yeah. I had bad dental work, you'd be hearing about it. There is no equality in a marriage. Absolutely none. Okay, like for example, in my marriage, my husband's the hot one and I'm the rich one. And every other marriage is different. Like for example, your marriage will go through different time periods. Like sometimes you feel like you're putting in 90% and he's putting in 10. And sometimes you're putting in 0% and he's putting in 100%. It's gonna vary all throughout. There is absolutely no equality. So don't let anyone fool you and tell you there is equality in marriage. There isn't. So she was on here earlier and she was proud to announce that she and her husband were going on the search for the second wife. Mm -hmm. Now, what's really interesting is she's like, I'm the rich one and he's the hot one. So, like, why is she allowing him to have more wives? He's what does he bring in other than like His hotness? Yeah, but she's holding the, the purse. She's yeah, got the power. She realizes there's, um, you know, 
there's something you have to compromise in her mind for this thing. In her like, mind. She's like, I'm paying. He's hot. He's He has more options in that regard. So I'll get him his next one. Oh, wife. so his hotness, his hotness is, okay. is His hotness is his is currency. So, yeah. wow. She must really be into them looks, huh? Yeah. Maybe. Jeez. But is this like a cultural thing where she's like, I know my For role sure. and he yeah. gets to have a second wife so and that's just part of it, but I get all the money? She's like doing this pro-Islam. So we found a whole um, lane of propaganda for North Korea. This mm -hmm. is like pro whatever Islamic multi-wife. I don't know. Like, tell me the proper verbiage, you know, because are all is are all Muslims are all Muslims into no, multi wives? No, no, that's, no, no, that's definitely not. That's what I'm saying. I, I want to sound ignorant because I, I don't think all that. Muslims are multi wives. No. This chick's Just husband. certain types of Muslims. You're you're uh, Muslim, right, Nidav? You're something yeah, something not white. Yeah, inshallah. <laughs> I feel like this chick's husband watched that first, that black dude's video. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? So check this out, right? Yeah. I've been, I've been <laughs> taking this chick out of town, out of her support system zone. Jeez, Louise. Right. And how good looking is this dude? She's very beautiful. She yeah. seems beautiful, yeah. She's rich and attractive. So yeah, like, what the hell you need? She definitely has that lost look in her eyes, though. Oh, yeah. 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 There's something missing in oh, there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she's fun. It's fun to manipulate those. All right, oh, let's watch yeah. this last one. I suggest pick up the chicken wing either side. And you'll feel the bones in between your thumb and index. Give it a turn, right? Ooh, it's that's so smart. It's somewhat easy then for you to pull apart. Oh my God, right? The one bone and the rest. It's so delicious. Wow, there's the dove's not, he's very excited. Yeah. He always go for a wild wings, his favorite place in the whole But homie, world. what about the other tiny wing in there? You just, you still go off. Yeah, you, you just pull, it, pull out. it all in and then, whoop. Yeah. Wow. You just suck off all that meat. That's cool Bones. shit, homie. That's your spot, right? Did you always know that's how you eat them? Uh, I actually learned that about like six months. Like within the last year, I learned that that's how. It's like, oh, that's why flats are good for some people. You know, this has got me so excited. Damn. I would be into having wings tonight. Yo, let's have some wings. I would do wings. Okay. Where's Bring it up. Where's the spot? Uh, you it's know, Pluckers is pretty good. There's a there's a couple Pluckers. other spots too. Yeah. Pluckers. Uh, yeah, there's a bar. <laughs> Pluckers is actually lit. He's right. Uh, Pluckers. Tommy Maybe Wong Pluckers Wong will be it. We'll what see. a name. No B dubs, just straight pluckers. I never huh? really cared about like this, you know, like how you can like this is fucking normal. I don't really give a shit. Yeah. But <laughs> I had an ex who was always like, "You're fat," so <laughs> bitch, I, it triggered me. And then That's tight. I got with someone, and that motherfucker. And used it to fucking bitch. Um, <laughs> I've never cared about losing weight ever again. I love this girl. Wait, was that English? What? Where did she actually she say? She left there? out the good stuff. Well, let me translate. So the second guy loved loved it. Yeah, loved yes. her and would bang this, would bang her out, bust her out, and, and be like grabbing that meat. Yeah. yeah. And then she was like, "I don't need to lose weight. I just need to find a guy. I need like to that. lose that fucking loser boyfriend that yeah. was telling me I was too fat." Yeah. Exactly. Fuck okay. that guy. And yeah. that's a hundred percent. Well, that's because you were with a fucking awesome dude the first time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Solid cat. <laughs> he was like, "What's up with that waistline? You are fat and shit." My yeah. ex didn't have that kind of waist. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you gotta lose that weight, bitch. You lose that weight. But she you looks ain't never skinny, gonna find dude. somebody. She's fine. She's yeah. not. No, she looks fat. great. Yeah. Yeah. She looks great. I think. I think we've learned. All right. oh, oh, this was going fuck. on the talk. So this chick's got like a, a colostomy bag, I guess, that coming is, out of her esophagus. That is not it. And anyway. <sighs> stoma. Stoma. Yeah. Fuck my stoma. Yeah, thirsty. Yeah, she's got a stoma. comes out of her neck. I mean, yeah. it seems like a good weight loss thing, though, right? Yeah, Definitely. you just get to taste it. And just get that taste and boop. Yep. I feel like that. All right, let's move on. God damn it, man! A lot of these are. Uh, yeah, this is her. I mean, it's I'm not you know. This is her, dude. What this Jay? Some, this is some Eastern <laughs> Bloc shit right here. Oh my oh, god. So oh my. <laughs> Oh, shit. I'm a savage. <laughs> he certainly is. You're not a savage, bro. He I'm not even looking over there. I'm a savage. Ah. True. Okay, full disclosure in the booth. Who does this? I Any? mean, not the full thing. Like, I, snot, I snot rocket when yeah. I... Like, just one. He and then blew his grass. nose. Like, I thought it was a sneeze at first. Listen, everybody <laughs> does it. Not on... Like this? <laughs> no, in the shower. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> My daughter did the other day in the shower. She told me. I was like, good for you. Good for you. But Nadav does this on the sidewalk. What? This, no, Nadav does it Not the in public. Not the, not the both nostrils at once. 
<laughs> I'll plug one and then find like a walk of grass and be like, nah, and I'll just crop dust it. I'm going to fucking throw up. <laughs> I did it one time in front of my mom to upset her and she almost threw up. That yeah, that's cool. cool. Yeah. That I support. Yeah, I, I did it like on a street sign. And I'm like, oh, it got on my hand. And then I just like wiped it on yeah. a car. But if you did it in front of your mom, I yeah. applaud that. My mom would drop dead. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. She'd be like, <laughs> Jason. Jason. Oh my God, I just put it together. That's your real name. Yeah. I've only known you as Jay Larson. I know. You know what's You're funny is Jason? I'll meet like Jesse's and stuff. They're like, oh yeah, I go by Jay too. And I go, but that's not. You're a Jesse. Jesse's yeah. not. You know Jesse's not Jay. But your real name is a, you're a Jason. Yeah. Dude, that's wow. You you're just, your whole identity just changed for me. I know. I'm, how do you feel about me now? Totally different. Interesting. Because Jay is who you are. Jason, is, I don't even know that guy. You're, I know. It's like more basic. What's your yeah. middle name? William. Oh, uh, so white. See, you're my, so my white. Yeah, she was William. right. You're pretty white. Crispy. Guys, there's nothing I can do about it. You got no flavor in your I DNA. Do. What are you homie? talking about? I went to the fucking New Edition reunion concert. Where were you? Yo, there's no spice at that show. Oh, are you kidding no me? No flavor. Ralph Tresvant just fucking tearing it up. Jason William Jason Larson. William Larson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that uh, that sounds like Yale University. Man. I wish, dude. Yeah. Dude, I wish. You're so mayonnaise. No, you're not even that. You're Miracle Whip, dude. Oh, God, I love dude. Miracle Whip. <laughs> See? I love the whip, baby. Yeah. Gets a bad rap, but it's so tangy. White. It's so tangy. <laughs> White. Man, I'll not, take it. You shouldn't should be ashamed. No, yeah. don't be ashamed of no. whiteness. How do you feel about reparations? You know? I'm down for it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, shit, <laughs> I gotta be white, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those of you oh, Congress for people fuck's sake. out there trying to ban TikTok, let me tell you something, brother. I'm coming looking for every one of you. You're going to get a David Gold Zodiac butt kicking. Except for you, AOC, because I love you, baby. You're a cute little Latina. Uh oh, I hope your husband don't get, your boyfriend don't get all jealous and stuff. <laughs> that was one of the strangest <laughs> ones he's ever done. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, he's doing his wrestling bit. And yeah, it's Macho like, I'm, Man, I'm right? Coming, yeah, I'm coming for you. And then he uh, flirted with the girl and was like, oh, is that okay? It was a whole thing. That's that was um, a lot. That was, that, a, was that was a wild ride. So disturbing, so upsetting. It was emotional. Ah, Who geez. is that cat? David Gold. David Gold. <laughs> Yeah, he kind of looks like Bill Gates. We've heard it, but <laughs> I think it kind of looks like Tony Hawk. Like if Tony <gasps> Hawk like had taken another turn. I know he's. Yeah. A, I know he's a guest of Don't the show. Don't you dare! Yeah. yeah, I mean, look. Does here's a secret. David Gold might get laid more than we imagine because yeah. he puts this out. I don't know. I've never seen but him with the facial hair. He's in good shape. He's got the facial hair. Going he's got his there. teeth. Listen, he's holding on to those teeth. He's doing yeah. good, except for that one on the front left. See it? Looking at trying to get out of there. Yeah, trying to get out of there. I mean, he's, he's doing little, good. He's still got a little bit of tea in him. Got a little mask. Yeah, going. he's got some tea <laughs> in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a low tea king right now. Hey, yeah. the best kind. Yeah. I love low tea kings. <laughs> That's my whole jam. What uh, low tea kings? Like I like a man in like mid fifties. Like he's had a spiritual awakening. He's made mistakes. He just does yoga, and he's in a wellness and like. Mm -hmm. Then we talk about spirituality and our feelings and stuff. We hold yeah. hands. We she wants to meet a gay gaze guy. deeply yeah. into each other's eyes. Cool. Good luck with him. Uh, <laughs> I want you to be my low T king. You have ten years. You can get, get there. He'll get there. Okay. I'm waiting for you. I'm not going to get there because I'll be jabbing that shit in my ass for the next fucking thirty five <laughs> years. Um. Today's the day. By the way, let me remind people: Jay okay. Larson's new special okay. sounds like sounds like bros. Sounds like Bruce. Sounds like Bruce. <laughs> is available right now. It's on the YouTubes. Mm -hmm. It's on your channel. Yep, Jay Larson Comedy. Nice. Um, people should know that you've been uh, you've been putting out all these sketches and like shorts and all these things. Sure, yeah. Are those also on your channel? Yeah, I mean, I try to put as much up over there as I can. Yeah. Past stand up, new stand up, sketches that I shoot, direct, write. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome, man. Thanks, buddy. I'm happy for you. It's fun seeing you. Thank you Always, for coming man. in. So Thank nice you guys. to see you. It's great been so long, here. Jason. I know. Good to see you, that. Jason. And uh, uh, good luck with the special. Go check it out. And remember, like it, review it, but also share it. If you have a good time watching it, send it to your friends. Send it, put it yep. in an email link. Post it on TikTok, on Instagram, on Twitter. Share that thing. That's how these things get out there. All right? Thank All you guys right. for watching. Thanks for listening. See ya. Bye, Mommy. Garth Brooks. Kidnap terror, possible mass murder. Garth Brooks kidnap terror, new hostage nightmare. Garth Brooks kidnap terror. The true mommy hit me in the DM. Yeah.
said he gotta beat the knees in me uh-huh. And I've been killing a million to the PM <laughs> Where's the bodies, have you seen them? Feel them? They're behind the eyes, blessing in the skies Know the day me live, lucky to be alive Run away, don't try, so the show out overnight Can't tell if I'm a psycho, that's alright, that's alright I like that, I like that, I like that, I like that I'm Thriller, I'm Mike Jack, I'm hijacking your night drive And you might not get your wife back what did I say? What did I say? Don't interrupt me in Studio G. Don't even know who they want me to be. It's official. Who fucking with me? Burn everybody 300 degrees. Apparently I'm competing with everything under the sun. If I shake your hand, you better believe you got someone. Garth Brooks kidnapped Carol. Oh, I'm scared. I really like that. Garth Brooks kidnapped Carol. Terrifying. He's a terrifying person. Garth Brooks kidnapped terror. Violent mass murder. Garth Brooks kidnapped terror. Let the conversation begin. Something like us. It's better not to start with me. I am just a regular dude. But double cross me, they be looking for you. I'm down to earth. Sing happy birthday to me. I'ma put you in a hearse. I hope it hurts. like that full episode of your mom's house are your jeans as high and tight as they can be i doubt it watch some more clips dude look at that one watch that one right here or maybe here maybe here maybe Maybe you should subscribe that way every time a new video gets posted you'll be notified stay in the know jeans subscribe now